Also, a special weekend edition. Details forthcoming. Check out the show tonight at 11.30. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Coming up, the Ace Cosby joke of the day. Ace is our engineer. He's right over there. I can see him. Uh, we have a Chick McGee across the way at the sports desk. This How is Tom speaking. You? I'm not sure why my voice sounds like this. I sound like someone else talking. Sexy. Uh, Very oh. sexy. Hot. Oh. That or, that or pneumonia. Oh, it? God, you turned me on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see that coming. Me either. Man. Uh, Christy Lee is uh, over there at the Navy Federal Credit Union News Desk. That was Josh Arnold blurting out his love for me at the IHateStevenSinger.com sidekick desk and chair. Willie G is over there. Patty G is over there cooking something up. I got a, lot, uh, a, lot of, a lot of things going on during that uh, during that break over there. We had a request for um, uh, Mr. Jaws. From, uh. from Dickie Goodman. <laughs> no. By yours truly, thank me later. Uh, uh -huh. We had a story in the news about a guy in India that caught, a fisherman caught a small two-headed shark. Uh, very rare, but there's a photograph. You can see the pictures of it, and it's kind of creepy. But um, it's there. Yeah. So that led to a discussion of sharks, which, of course, led to this. Uh, this, is, uh, this guy, Dickie Goodman, would take uh, snippets of hit songs of the era, <laughs> right. if you will, and um, mm -hmm. ask questions. You'll hear how it works. It's uh, Or doesn't. It's yes. A, <laughs> yes, indeed. It's a, it's, a, it's a long lost art form, and aren't we lucky? Uh -huh. uh, but here's a little bit of, um, of Mr. Goodman for you. Well, great. It's an appropriate uh, response. Um, isn't it? Uh, yeah, the, sh yeah. the shark's going to be back for lunch. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, here we go. So listen to a couple more. Here. Again, uh, wow. that was a hit uh, back yeah. in the day. So um, th that art form really kind of lost. We would play <laughs> wiffle ball all day in a buddy's backyard, and we would stand around the radio. We'd have the radio on, and we would wait for the sign. We'd huddle all around it. <laughs> when it was, oh, it was just awful, stupid. Yeah. <laughs> stupid. But That's it was a nice idiot. memory for you, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we could bring back that art form. We yeah, know, we could. Yeah, yeah, it we seems could. almost like an internet thing pre-internet. That seems like such like a silly YouTube video yeah. or something. Oh, yeah, right. yeah, 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 mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, um, but uh, that was the best one. <laughs> oh. If that's, if yeah, that's yeah. Any, he had a bunch. Yeah, of them. if that was yeah. any, if that was any. Joyce, go. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, could you grab that? Please? Sure. Hello, Bob and Tom show. Hey, Bob and Tom, it's Donnie Baker. Donnie, Donnie. Donnie. I was a big Dickie Goodman's fan back in the day. Really? I loved you. I begged for that tape, and my mom Phyllis went out because mm -hmm. I just remember being a small fry begging. For, I said, "Get me Mr. Jaws." She went out and bought the sound track of the stupid movie. Oh. And I listened to two hours of a bunch of whale farts waiting for Dickie to cut in. <laughs> and like three records at Christmas. So Dickie Goodman's I begged for. Um, K Tail Records with Juice Newton, Queen of Hearts. <laughs> and uh, Bob Seeger's Fire Lake. Oh. And I still think Dickie's right up there with them others. You, you had special order it back then. You couldn't just go to like um, a record store and you had special order it. I'm sure if you heard that people are going nuts now ordering stuff online lately. Oh, yeah. They've been quarantined. And, and they've ordered so much stuff now. They claim Jeff Bezos from Amazon's the world's first zillionaire. That's with a Z. <sighs> like in the word um, xylophones. Uh, Donnie, right, right. Uh, isn't xylophone spelled with an X? X yes. Well, we won't worry about it. But <laughs> I don't think he is. You're just going to well, spell Well, X marks the spot where you can kiss my ass, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Say it right your face over recordless. Anyway, <laughs> my next door neighbor's got so many boxes sitting on his front porch every night. It looks like a Christmas in July. I'm, well, October. Uh -huh. But my roommate Boner's always getting blackout drunk and buying stuff online. No wonder why Bezos is a zillionaire. Mm. Last week, Boner got a 50 gallon drum of Dippin' Dots delivered to our house. <laughs> oh. Yeah, ice cream of the future, my ass. 
I had 30,000 fire ants on my porch. <laughs> <laughs> Worse than that, Dippin' Dots were all the suck ass strawberry flavor. I hate strawberry. Oh, but I love Dippin' Dots. Yeah. What's wrong with it's just what I want. A fruit that looks like a hot boiled testicle that's been covered in fresh ground pepper. <laughs> and that's the thing. Oh. <laughs> yeah, the ants, uh, the ants love thanks, you Donnie. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Yesterday it finally happened. I come home. There's a package on the porch. I bring it inside, open up. And apparently, after a night of playing the Pawn Stars drinking game, I ordered myself a, a real samurai sword. What's the Pawn Stars drinking game? Yeah. Well, every time Rick has to call in a fake expert friend of his to brag about somebody's <laughs> item, you have to take a shot. Ooh. And I only made it through an episode and a half before I apparently blacked out and ordered me a, you know, authentic samurai sword. Mm. Which wouldn't be a big deal, but spoiler alert, it's a seven sword I don't remember ordering this month. <laughs> now, between the dream catchers, the Chinese stars, my Molly Hatchet mirrors collection, samurai swords, and a uh, game used to off Richard Petty's 43 stock car I'm about Whoa. running out of wall space. <laughs> if, if I put any more stuff on my walls for clutter, mm -hmm. uh, Neighborhood Association is going to force me to turn my house into a TGI Friday. <laughs> <laughs> swear to God. I still ain't as bad as my buddy Ronnie Quackenbush. What's he doing? I'll tell you about him. No. He used to get blackout drunk all the time and buy stuff he couldn't afford regular. He ended up having to fire old chapter 7 and 11, and he didn't even get the stuff from there. Oh. He came home one day and found a brand new Russian bride on his doorstep. Wow. Oh. Yeah, her name was Olga. Oh. He didn't even remember buying her on the internet. And his wife Donna was pissed. I bet. <laughs> <laughs> now, it worked out in the end, Christy. Uh, yeah. Olga and Donna fell in love and moved in together. Aw. That's sweet. And old Quackabush got him a sweet pad right on the water. He's living in a houseboat. Nice. Mm. You know, you'd think being friends, he'd want to buy my boat, but he said he didn't need a room addition. <laughs> Yet he, he goes out, he blows his stimulus check on extensions because he's trying to look like Ronnie James Diaz. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> You know, you'd think with all the money Mr. Baldy uh, Jeff Bezos is raking in, he'd uh -huh. be able to afford himself a new set of hair up top. You would think. Yeah. Yeah, who knows? Maybe he's in a Judas Priest. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. Uh, yeah. Do guys get hair extensions? Oh, my gosh, yes. yes. Really? What? Um, well, sure. Guys get hair extensions? I did not know that. Would, the kind that I you sew think. in? I Didn't Adam think. Duritz have them? I think so. Uh, Connie Crows do? Oh. He, he, had, some sort he, of he had fake... Um, what do you call it? Dread reds? And I, those wouldn't have been an extension of some sort? I, I I don't think he had enough hair on top. Gotcha. Yeah, the so last picture I saw of me, he looked like Sideshow Bob with a wig on. Kind of, yeah. I saw him at a... Sideshow Bob had been eating pizza <laughs> four <laughs> times a day. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so we won't we won't be talking to Adam anytime soon. I still like the crows. <laughs> well, I like Adam like, Duritz. I like hey, here's Colleen something. Me Ready? Too. Uh, one of Tom's favorite NFL players, I think, uh, Ocho Senko, Chad Johnson. Yeah. yeah. Tommy? Yeah. Uh, he was on Twitter a couple days ago and said, wanted to test his followers' knowledge of uh, his favorite movie, pop culture and his favorite movie. Oh, yeah. I saw this. Uh, Chad Johnson said, I bet you all can't name this this movie that is one of my, I bet you all can't name this movie one of my favorites. And he put up a still from the movie. And so, I mean, <laughs> and of course it's Space Jam, clearly. It's Space No, it's, it's of course Howard Howard the Duck. One of the best Marvel movies ever, Chad Johnson Never says. Never saw it. Howard the Duck. I bet you didn't you know and he everyone did. else. And Howard the Duck did a cameo in Guardians of the Galaxy, is that right? Yeah. yeah. Mhm. Mm I did not know that. Yeah. Hmm. It was a major flop. Yes, yeah. huge bomb. But everybody, everybody's got a flop movie they like. But it was on cable all the time and we watched it a lot. I guess kids. the problem is the uh, movie thing theme song to that. Howard the Duck. I don't remember. I can look it up. Okay. Uh, Off the air when it's... It might have been... Uh, Leo. Oh, <laughs> I thought we might play it. Well, I mean, I think no. in Ace's defense, Josh goes, it was in cable. I've watched it 3,000 times. And oh, then, so I did, and I didn't memorize who did the theme song. I apologize. <laughs> well, you guys talk about Spies Like Us. I remember the theme song to that. It's always in my head. Spies <laughs> Like Us. Paul McCartney. Oh, oh, but the God. best song, the best song in that was when they're and spies like us were in the, they're in the middle of nowhere and all of a sudden one of those goes is that soul finger <laughs> <laughs> a great song <laughs> this is Leah Thompson saying lead vocal on it oh sure yeah, she, she she's did. in yeah. a band in the movie Dolby's yeah. Cube featuring Cherry Bomb oh. Leah Thompson background vocals George Clinton and guitar Joe Walsh 
Right. Well, there you go. Boy, there was a lot of, a lot of money spent on that. On that. Yeah, there sure was. Yeah. I guess the big problem with, I went down the rabbit hole on this. I guess the big problem with Howard the Duck is everything was inside the suit at the time. They couldn't do anything as far as CGI. computers go. Yeah. And they, all they show a duck's boobs in that movie. Had remember? trouble. Oh, they do show. Yeah. Is, is she like, taking a I, bath I, or something? Yep. Can't see why I wouldn't have hated it. <laughs> um, yeah, I hated everything about it. Even the ads pissed me off. <laughs> now, spies like us, the great moment, of course, is when all of a sudden they hear this. It's Soul Finger <laughs> by the Barquets. They must be having trouble getting gigs. <laughs> <laughs> great song. And, and and Dan Aykroyd is such a connoisseur of great music. Yes. Mm -hmm. He's a, a, a very, very fine harp player, by the way. Oh, my gosh. And remember the, the first scene Chevy's in? He's at, the, he's at his desk with his feet up, on, and he's watching <laughs> Ronald Reagan in a musical. <laughs> he works for the government, and he's just laughing, chewing gum. I remember it fondly. Okay. Okay. Uh, Zamboni machine caught fire Duh. on an ice rink in New York City. The fire Glad took it was place. a rink. If it had been on the lake, it would have fallen through. Yes. Oh, it was in Brighton, New York. I'm sorry. At Bill Gray's... That's a silly statement. <laughs> no, it's not. If you were on Lake Placid and it was frozen, you're on a Zamboni, it catches on fire, it's going to melt the ice and drop right in. You know, that's actually how the song Smoke on the Water was written. Um, <laughs> originally, oh wait a minute, let's go. You you started this. It was so steam Lake, on the water. Lake Geneva froze over. Yeah, I thought that I thought, it was. I thought it was a little bit fun. I the problem was that. you deliver that joke in a room full of nerds who know the actual yeah, story. I know. Yeah. The fire took place at some Bill stupid with a flare. Lyrically, missing a, missing a couple of words in that <laughs> yeah. sentence. Yeah. Did you see where the fire took a place? Gun. It, it was is. at uh, Bill Gray's Iceplex in oh. Brighton, New York. Uh, oh, a hose carrying hydraulic fluid apparently. There's no out. reason to call her names. Oh, you can't do that. You can't call those girls names. <laughs> It was an actual hook. I didn't mean to just to, to shut the show down. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. God. Again. You mean again? <laughs> yeah, I did, I, did, after, I did mean After yeah. failing Ace's question, that's two. If you get three in a break, you're out. Remember the days he didn't talk? <laughs> uh, fluid, a fluid apparently leaked out that was ignited by a hot exhaust pipe. Video show, shared online shows the Zamboni quickly going up in flames. Oh, my gosh. The driver, Jordan Curtis. A real hose Perished. was still Whoa. able to maneuver the machine off the ice. He's a true American hero. No wow. one was injured. There you go. Okay, good. Man. Nobody injured. Scary. Zamboni. It fire. is scary. I love those things. Haven't you said you wanted to? <laughs> we really rode on one, one, right? The blue jacket yeah, thing? Yeah. yeah. yeah I've always yeah, wanted to ride on one. Really tricky to drive them. Yeah. You know what's not tricky to drive? A train. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you're going to do this again to me. Yeah. No track on an ice rink. Yeah. yeah. The, the Zamboni could go anywhere. He's got a big steering wheel. He's not on a set of tracks. <laughs> <laughs> what was the What was the big Zamboni story last year? Ah, uh, um, boy, I don't oh, know. Oh, the guy from the stands? Oh, I'd rather answer what was the theme song to Howard the Duck. <laughs> <laughs> we're, still, we're still working on that one. Uh, I just told you. Have you ever it's sat the down theme from and, Howard the and Duck. thought there was an Italian guy named Zamboni? who invented, right. And there was an Italian guy named Jacuzzi. Have you ever thought about that? <laughs> Zamboni and Jacuzzi. Hey, <laughs> brothers. Brothers. come on in. It's I'm a nice a hot, Oh, a here's cool. the one from Zamboni. Bob. Zamboni Jacuzzi. <laughs> I just got the story. They. Uh, this was from. Um, this is from the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation. Yep. Um, they developed the so-called poop zamboni to clear soccer fields of goose droppings. Oh, oh yeah. That's not. That's not a zamboni. Uh, well, it's in Canada, and they call it a Zamboni. Uh, Who knows more about Zambonis than Canadians? So that was the big Zamboni story that we forgot about last year. Yeah. Uh, uh, I don't know. No. Do you wonder why? Poop. Yeah. Uh, that'd be <laughs> crazy. A rough, of rough, rough, rough gig. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> poop fan. <laughs> that would be a rough gig, driving the poop Zamboni. Uh, is that a word, fecophiliac? It is. Oh, yeah. I like that. <laughs> That's, wasn't that the name of your band? And, uh, before you were in the consensuals. That's exactly right, yeah. <laughs> the poop of Josh and the fecal feely. Uh, yep. Oh, fecal feely. Yeah. Fecal -feely. Uh, Number where, two band in town. Where were we? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's trying to be fun. Come on. <laughs> I'll tell you where we are. We got to talk about what's coming up. What's coming up?
Well, let's see what is coming up. We have uh, Genghis Khan in the news. Did you say Dinkus Khan? Genghis Khan. Oh, Genghis Khan. Genghis Khan. Right. Dinkus Khan would be totally different. <laughs> It'd be a porno. Yeah, did, it would. And did you your wouldn't want to see you, it. It'd be your, hard to see, actually. Did your dad call yours a penis when you grew up or a Dinkus? Uh, I don't know. I think. No, I'd never use He always go, Willie, get your little tiny penis out of here. <laughs> that's no, not true. That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he'd say. <laughs> we have bears and beavers in the news all coming up. Okay, bears and beavers and more. Oh, all, my. Uh, on, on on the way. Oh, mm-hmm. did you see the flaming lips story? Yeah, I did. This yeah. is really funny. I love those uh, guys. Yeah, yeah well, they, they, they did. They did a great stunt. I th- uh, just uh, last no, a couple nights ago. We'll mm-hmm. find out about it in a minute. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Reach us toll free at one eight 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 Bob Tom one or at bobandtom.com. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Bob and Tom, well-meaning, but... Yeah, they're they're all messed up. ...more than slightly confused. After the Bob and Tom Show, stay tuned right here to Bob and Tom 24-7. For Bob and Tom's work farce, Ace Cosby, your host. Keep the smile going all day and keep your co-workers guessing. What's making you so happy? It's the Bob and Tom Show, and we'll have more of it coming up right after this on Bob and Tom 24-7. Tell Ace Cosby I said hello. I'm Chick McGee with your Bob and Tom sports update. The Houston Astros have forced a game six in the American League Championship Series. Carlos Correa, a walk-off home run to center field off Nick Anderson in the bottom of the ninth to end the Astros' 4-3 win over the Rays. Houston wasted leads of 1-0 and 3-1 before Correa's sixth home run of the postseason. The Atlanta Braves are one win away from ending a two-decade World Series drought after a 10-2 win over the Los Angeles Dodgers in Game 4 of the National League Championship Series. And in NFL news, the Atlanta Falcons say they have shut their facility following one new positive test for COVID-19. Defensive tackle Marlon Davidson placed on the virus reserve list this week. The addition of a second unidentified person caused the Falcons to act out of caution and close the facility. A team spokesman said the second person was not a player. The spokesman added that Barring any changes, the Falcons are expected to be back at their facility sometime today. I'm Chick McGee, and that's your Bob and Tom Sports Update. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob and Tom. No one does this but you. No one. Absolutely no one washes one pair of jeans. Do you cut off the tops of your socks with scissors? (laughs) What? (laughs) What the hell are you doing? You didn't know about that, Willie? No, I don't do that either. I know you do it. (laughs) What the hell is wrong with you? Those look like socks that an orphan in a play would wear. Look at Willie. Look at Willie. Willie is genuinely embarrassed and worried. I buy belts and I cut off the buckle. <laughs> and then they're too tight. I buy a shirt and I cut off the collar. Bob and Tom in the morning and highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24-7. Sunshine. Bob and Tom 24 7. 24 7. 24 7. I wake up, the birds are singing. Not a cloud up in the sky. Hey, this is really good coffee. Man, I'm a happy guy. Then suddenly the phone rings and my smile fades away. As I listen to you talking, you ruin another day. (laughs) 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 (laughs)
This is Bob and Tom 24-7. My name is Jim Gaffigan. I have to go and, well, I just had a hop So you know where I'm going. The Detroit Pistons, former champs of basketball. <laughs> I have so many souvenirs, it's hard to list them all. I have piston pants. I have piston shorts. I have piston beer mugs. Sometimes people don't even notice. I have- 7.44 Q95. It's the Bob and Tom Show. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Paying attention, were you? Oh, yeah. Good, good, good. Um, we have uh, something cool coming up. It'll be this evening, 11.30. My Indie TV 23. It's called Bob and Tom Tonight. Check it out. A special weekend edition also coming up. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. The man on the red checks is Josh Arnold sitting in the I Hate Steven Singer.com side picture. This is Tom, that's Chick, that's Ace. The Ace Cosby joke of the day coming up. Willie G is over there. Patty G is over there cooking something up. I'm not uh-huh. sure what. We'll find out momentarily. Christy Lee is uh, right next to me in the yes, sir. Navy Federal Credit Union News Desk chair. Uh, Mr. McGee, uh, we were uh, touching on the world of sports. Any updates for me? We we wrapped it up. We, oh, we I, I had no yeah, idea we wrapped, wrapped it up. Oh, yeah, the Zam- how, where do you go after a Zamboni fire? Good I love boy. the joke. Wherever you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what, fire what department? I don't Whatever know. You where, do. You go. where do you go after <laughs> a Zamboni fire, Ace? <laughs> Always <laughs> be a good sport and don't forget, people. You know, chick. That's right. Ooh. Pig suey. <laughs> you know, chick. Ooh, pig suey. Oh, there it is. That's how I sh- my voice got shot. Yelling uh, for that pig? Wait a minute. <laughs> uh, no. Yelling for that pig. How about that Christy pig? Lee, once again, at the Navy Federal Credit Union News. Says, what have you got, Christy? Um, a politician has been caught hiding cash in between his butt cheeks. Brazilian Senator Chico Rodriguez. Chico! Chico. <laughs> <laughs> was caught in a police raid that was part of an investigation into the misuse of coronavirus response funding. Oh, classy. Lovely. Yeah. Rodriguez was suspended from the Senate for 90 days by Supreme Court Justice Luis Roberto Barroso on Thursday. That's it. Barroso said the police team possesses a video of the second personal search that was carried out. Uh-oh. I will not reproduce these images in this report so as to not cause it greater embarrassment. The senator, by the way... Embarrass this man! ...has denied any wrongdoing. Wow. Mm -hmm. So he had the old money in the keister. Yeah, apparently. Wow. This guy goes to jail. 
the soulmates here about this, they may go mining for gold. <laughs> boy, oh boy. <laughs> hey, have you met my new roommate, the ATM? <laughs> wow. Yikes. Yeah. Um, what, a, what a bad person. Hit my, yeah. Hit yes. my, a lot of politicians <laughs> that have money coming out there, right? <laughs> yes. I always wonder where they got it. But, and this is the case we literally want to launder money. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, Absolutely. Machine. Okay, well, congratulations. What a scumbag. Yeah, stealing, I stealing money for that is really low. Yeah. Okay. Well, also, part of me, this could be a big man issue. Uh, Josh, you ever get a little moisture back there and oh, you deposit a little, a little toilet tissue, a little paper of some kind to kind of clean up? Kind the, of The so-called man pond? <laughs> yes. No, I have not had to do that. Okay, well, well, I'm just saying, this, I'm embarrassed if this is a Brazilian politician of a certain size, maybe right. he could use the excuse that he was just trying to get a little relief. There's a picture but of him on my Twitter if you want to see him. He's I have a couple friends who have to, have, they say they have to use a, a man pond every now and again to get the moisture. I, what, what are you doing? What are you talking about? You're getting moisture in your rear end. In your yeah. butt crack, dude. And so what? you absorb the sweat, yes. whatever's back there, you get rid and you soak it in, and then you get rid right. of it later. I have no ass whatsoever, so I don't have really I don't have that issue. Astounding. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> Man pond? I've, I've lived this many years and never heard of this. Oh, it's a thing, yeah. It's definitely a thing. Chick, you know anything about it or no? No, I don't. Cool. Well, he doesn't have much of an ass either, right? Yeah. Chick, um, yeah. I thought I didn't have an ass, but after this conversation, Zero must be big ass will. <laughs> big ass will. <laughs> big ass will. Yeah, okay. Walking through. All right. Well, um, I guess it was probably uh, not too sweaty because it's hairless. I'm sure. The Brazilian, of course. Oh. oh. Yeah, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> and yet they call the dog the Mexican hair. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, Christy. Back to you. What else have you got? The Flaming Lips hold a live concert with everyone getting their very own bubble. Tuesday's night Tuesday night show took place at the Criterion in the band's hometown of Oklahoma City. Criterion. Criterion. Uh, Frontman Wayne Coyne posted a video of himself singing from inside his bubble, surrounded by fans dancing within their own bubbles. It's pretty funny. What kind of bubble? A, a bubble. gigantic plastic bubble. Bubble. Oh, okay. Yeah. And he's Fun. standing up inside it. Cool. So Flaming lips do that kind of. Yeah, the kind of uh, a stunt, very out there, experimental, yeah. crazy, mm -hmm. but uh, but great stuff. Yeah, what was the kind of what was their big hit? What about Jelly? What was that called? Oh, I don't know. Um, yeah, there's a great video of that. Uh, hmm. I'm not up on my flaming jelly. lips. I got to tell you, um, it's the Vaseline. Yeah, uh, well, they're they're talking about toast and jelly. Anyway, uh, I'll have to check out the. I saw she don't use jelly. Yeah, that's it. She don't use she jelly. Don't use cheese. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, uh, but uh, for what? Well, what are you going to make a sandwich it? with? Uh, <laughs> just the peanut. She uses yeah. Vaseline. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now, um, it'll be interesting to see if I hope that isn't the future of concerts, having everyone to be in a gigantic bubble. I will not be attending. I kind of do. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! I would. Like mosh, a big mo would moshing in those. Well, how do you do a bathroom break? Yeah, and I mean, <laughs> how do you? I don't well, know. they're going to each have their own little. Bottle, of course. <laughs> Everybody can see you. It's a gigantic clear bubble. Uh, never mind. Um, Christy Whittles. Uh, I was going to I want to see. Are they, did they cover just your head or your full no, body? No, no, no. You're, you're standing inside a gigantic yeah. bubble. What? So you can get out and go to the bathroom. Oh, my gosh. You're right. I'm okay. I'm not sure how you get in and get out. <laughs> uh, I was wondering the same it's, thing. You're like big, you're like in one of those big hamster wheel things. Yeah. Hamster yeah. If it was a fish show, you couldn't see anybody because all the bubbles would be full of smoke. <laughs> <laughs> or, or acid. Ah, oh, that's so, wild. Or, or acid. <laughs> or acid. Acid. He's leaving it up to us. <laughs> Three veteran actors from the Star Wars saga are returning for a new Lego holiday special. They got three of them, huh? Anthony Mark Daniels, Hill. Kelly Marie Tran, and Billy D. Williams, who played C-3PO, Rose Tico, and Landau what? Cler Clarice. Cal Lando Clarician. Cal Rizzi. Cal Rizzian. Cal Rizzian. Yeah, me doing it wrong. Yeah, Cal Rizzi. Say Clarizian? Clarizian. No, I'm sorry, I don't have that a story. That was me. From Hello, Clarizian. <laughs> Signed on to it's, voice. It's, the... it's Lando Calrissian. Cal I take Cal Clarizian for my allergies twice a day. Do you? Yeah. yeah. Twice Cut a day. Wow, yeah. you must have really bad allergies. Cut that out. They're set to begin streaming on Disney Plus November 17th. They're they're counting this with those three in it. The Lego Star Wars <laughs> Holiday Special also marks a redemptive return for the saga's holiday special brand as the project is a successor of sorts to the infamous 1978 Star Wars Holiday Special that aired just once oh, yeah. on CBS. Yeah, it's famous for being terrible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is, uh, what are they calling it, o um, an homage to the terrible? I guess. Um, is, what's this one called? 
to Star Wars Legos. It's called the Lego Star Wars Holiday Special. Return of the cash grab. <laughs> I believe uh, Mark Hamill tweeted after the first debate, the presidential debate, uh, this is the worst thing I've seen on television, and I was in the Star Wars holiday special. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, that, that that's notoriously awful. Right. Yeah. So are, are they going to have segments of that and... No, I doubt Do it, because Legos... No, it's, it sounds it's, like it's brand new with this uh, Star Wars cast. Well, and they're Legos. They're not real people. They're the like, they're they Lego bring, guys. Are they going to bring in the Christmas story? Is there going to be a, a Lego Santa or a Lego Jesus? Or, uh, well, it's a Lego I doubt Star that. Wars. Yeah. Well, it says it's a holiday special. Yeah, I know. But... I don't know. But you think Jesus is going to show up? <laughs> yeah. A Star Wars? The Lego crucifixion. Well, didn't, uh, is, I, I, if you saw <laughs> Liam Neeson. I am your father. <laughs> and the one, he looked kind of like Jesus in the robe, the, the hair. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I guess. That was Obi-Wan. He had that look. <laughs> that was uh, Qui-Gon Jinn. Uh, yeah, I think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which was is it reprise or reprise, by the way? You and McGregor. Oh, you can choose. Oh, you That's can? That's one of those words I like when people choose, yeah. Oh, okay. Reprise, reprise. Yeah. yeah. It, it's, right. it's much like uh, Mr. Godwin's Tinnitus or Tinnitus. Oh, right. I always... Wondered about that. Okay, okay we can do a, we can go to a whole list of those. And I obviously have a friend of mine was on a cruise ship, and there was a band uh, uh, composed entirely of people from Japan, and they were really good players. But mm -hmm. they only learned to they only learned the songs from the the music they'd been presented the paper the sheet right. music. Yeah. And uh, one night, <laughs> the, 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 he goes, the guy story. was singing, you say tomato, I say tomato, <laughs> you say potato, yeah. I say potato. They didn't really get the, the subtleties the of the language. Yeah. Right. I, why would they? I couldn't do it in uh, Japanese myself. I had uh, no, no, no idea. Um, coming back, we'll wait, talk about karaoke, or karaoke, however you want to say it. Yeah, I don't know how that one works either. Yeah. It's karaoke. Even in karaoke, even it's in how we say Korea. We they would say karaoke. Did they really? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Um, okay. What do they know? Or kara yeah. Do you karaoke? know what this is? Do you know what this is, Christy? It sounds like the Flaming yeah. Lips. Yeah, that's that's the beginning of she don't use jelly. Uh, <laughs> wild tune. That could be interpreted in many ways. That. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That was the we are that. setting new records for narrow casting. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. That kind of dry there, Missy. <laughs> <laughs> we'll come back. Oh my God. Why was the man so old? Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was the frontier in, pervert. In the news, we, have, yeah, yeah, frontier. we have a horse skeleton. And what are you cooking up with Dean over there? Oh, it's a surprise, Tom. Okay. Was it next? It could be. Okay, Smells well, like men shoot to me. Let's do it next. <laughs> uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Check out the Bob and Tom Show app and let your voice be heard. Our contact info is right there. Bob and Tom. For your information, these are two of the worst kids I have ever encountered in my life. And I worked the state fair. We were stupid before stupid was cool. Bob and Tom have a YouTube channel. Subscribe now at no cost. Head on over there, click the red button, and join over 100,000 other Bob and Tom fans who have subscribed to the Bob and Tom Show YouTube channel. Kick back, relax, and watch Bob and Tom tonight, Monday through Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. 20 minutes of video highlights from today's Bob and Tom Show tonight, right there on Bob and Tom's YouTube channel. Check it out tonight. Hi, Mark Allison from the Navy Federal Credit Union News Desk. Asian shares mixed as investors weigh concerns about the U.S. presidential election and an economic stimulus package. 
On top of fears of flaring outbreaks of coronavirus, shares rose in Japan and China on Friday but fell in South Korea and Australia. Investors also looking ahead to the release of data on the Chinese economy next week. Stocks ended mostly lower on Wall Street, giving the S&P 500 its third straight loss this week. Stocks had been mostly climbing this month, but have pulled back this week as ongoing talks between Democrats and Republicans on more aid for the economy have foundered. Indian capitals' air quality levels have plunged to very poor days after the government initiated stricter measures to fight chronic air pollution. A smoggy haze settled over the city Friday, reducing visibility. New Delhi enjoyed a respite from air pollution till September due to a strict virus lockdown. But with industrial activities resuming and cars back on the roads, the air quality in the city of New Delhi has once again fallen to unhealthy levels, making matters worse, the burning of agricultural fields in neighboring states. Most people haven't been able to see a Broadway show this year because of the pandemic, but the business of giving out awards to productions that have made it onto the Great White Way goes on. Among the top nominees for the Tony Awards is Jagged Little Pill, which explores Alanis Morissette's 1995 album. It has 15 nods. The music competes with Tina, the Tina Turner musical, and Moulin Rouge, the musical. That's a look at your news. More of the Bob and Tom show coming up right after this. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob and Tom. I wonder what it's going to be like when Willie comes to visit you in about 15, 20 years. (laughs) At the home. At the home. A little microphone set up talking to no one. (laughs) (laughs) What's in the news, Christy? Well, this week is a crazy (laughs) stuff happening. He does all the voices by himself. Chick, what's going on? Hi, Christy. I don't want to talk to you. Getting in, yeah. fake, getting in fake fights with Dean in the hallway of the yeah. theater. Nurse, 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 nurse. I do weather on the tent. Bob and Tom in the morning and highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24-7. Hello, this is comedian John Evans. Padoom, padoom, padoom. And you're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. You should have seen me last night when I... I fell down laughing and I stumbled down a flight of metal stairs. <laughs> I went crashing through the window at the VFW hall. Tumbled over a pile of metal chairs. <laughs> then I cussed out my girlfriend, tried to feel up her mom. I wrecked my car, I think I bruised my spine. Oh, you ought to go with me when I... Go out drinking. <laughs> Always have myself a real good time. <laughs> I got drunk and stole this boat out of the Edgewater Yacht Club doing 90 miles an hour up to the bay. I sank her out by Buckeye Point and walked on into town. <laughs> Tore up someone's flowers on my way. <laughs> then I barged into the cruise nest and I threw up on the rug. <laughs> I slapped that hostess on her big behind. Oh, you ought to go with me when I go out drinking. Always have myself a real good time. I talk dirty. Eight o'clock on the button at Q95. It's the Bob and Tom Show Eastern Daylight Time. A quick, uh, a quick forecast from Christy Lee. Q95 Fox 59 weather brought to you by CarX. Mainly sunny today, high 56. Partly cloudy Saturday, 62. Maybe a shower Sunday, 60. It's chilly, 31 degrees right now. Ooh, you're the man, Josh. You're the man. What are you going to do this weekend? Oh, I'm going to check out the same game parlays on FanDuel Sportsbook. Oh, yeah. They're simple. You combine multiple bets from one game into a single parlay. This way, the payouts are even bigger when you win win. Plus, FanDuel will refund the first same game parlay you lose on any NFL game each week up to 10 bucks. That means you can bet a different parlay risk a free every NFL week all season long. Check out the same game parlay for this Sunday's Colts Bengals game. You'll get 10 bucks back if you don't win. And remember, FanDuel is the only sportsbook app that has these same game parlays. If you don't already have a FanDuel account, my goodness, what are you doing? Use promo code WFBQ when you sign up so they know that we sent you. That's FanDuel Sportsbook, promo code WFBQ. <gasps> You must be 21 or older and present in Indiana. <laughs> refund issued is non-withdrawable site credit that expires in seven days. Max oh. refund, $10. Terms apply. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-9-WITH-IT. Nailed it! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm the 
Sports. With time to spare. Vandal Sports. Have some fun with FanDuel. Don't be intimidated by Josh's lofty read. (laughs) (laughs) Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. It's great to be here on this, the 16th of October. Um, Are you guys ready with your secret? I think we are. Oh, I love surprises. Do you? Oh, yeah. Good work. Not me. Me either. Me neither. I hate them. I hate them. 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 (laughs) Could it be a song about my belt? Your Could belt. Be. That's uh, right. I'm wearing a belt. Are you? The Chick, yeah. McGee, the Chick McGee belt. <laughs> I I can't tell you the last time I wore a belt. I like that belt, Chick. Back, back up, back up. Does it have your name on it? Yes, it says Chick here in the buckle. Oh, I only saw the ICK. I, I <laughs> and the arrow that lights up. You got to remember which side's the front. Which side's oh yeah, you, you end up looking. Do you the like mirror. wearing a belt or? Is no, it? I don't. But I oh. did because it was. Because your pants fun. are falling down because you're losing so much. Yeah, my pants. Yeah, I just I don't know. It's like check. You're we'll looking see, good. We'll see the show, Mister. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, maybe you and I can uh, talk after the show. Mm-hmm. Ace Cosby, would you wear a belt, Ace? You wear sweatpants, right? They're athletic gear. No. You never know. <laughs> Are they? You never know when somebody's going to ask him to be on their team. Yeah, yeah. this is quite the athlete. Yeah, yeah. I wear a belt. Do you wear a belt? Yeah, sure. You every got a belt day. on. You got a belt on right now. Yeah. Huh. I wear a belt every day. Willie, you got a belt on. I got a belt on. Son of a yep, gun. Every day for me. Do you wear a belt too? Oh, I make sure everything. I wear suspenders, a belt, <laughs> and a. Uh, <laughs> you don't want your pants to fall off at any time. Right. When, when do you make that decision when you're getting so hefty? It's, well, it's suspenders. <laughs> yes. When can't, do you make we, that? We can't bind it in the middle. We're just going to. We're going we're gonna to drape it. <laughs> I just don't. I, Embrace it. Go for it. It's okay with me. I thought, uh, yeah, I'm going to get a belt. Okay. Um, now, um, we have. Uh, that's, that's Josh over there in the I Hate Steven Singer.com sidekick chair. Hi there. Um, and uh, we brought in the Steven Singer Singers this week. A lot of people loved them. Got some really nice mail about that. Yeah, they are now. Yeah. And a couple they're... creepy emails, but that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty girls. Yeah. Um, and that's Christy, of course. You can see her right there at the Navy yes. Federal Credit Union News Desk now. Mr. Godwin and Dean are in the next room over there. And Willie, is, Willie is a part of this, too. Yeah, Dean and I just kissed. Um, <laughs> Does this have any background? Yes, it's about you and your pension for ironing outside. Oh. Well, we need to set this up again. Yeah, um, okay. Uh, I don't know how this came up yesterday, but um, over the weekend, I spent some time doing some ironing. <laughs> Uh, the girls are out of town, so it was what? just me at the house. Yeah. And, uh, a lunatic. I have a s- very small laundry room, and it's just depressing being in there with the ironing board set sure, up. So sure. I set it up outside, got a, like, 100-foot extension cord. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, oh, they make oh, a God, cordless God. iron, you know. Well, I don't have a cordless iron. I'm not going to go drive at the store to buy it. So I was ironing some clothes, and I just did it outside. And then uh, Kelly called me, and they're on a little vacation. Mm-hmm. Oh, you didn't tell her you were ironing. Did you tell her? Well, she said, what do you, what do you, it was a FaceTime oh. thing, and she goes, oh. what are you doing outside? And I said, I'm in the driveway ironing. And she said, we're going to be, uh, we're, we're taking an extra four days. <laughs> uh, <laughs> back to your lawyer. Extended our stay. Anyway, oh. so I had a picture of it. You, you, it came up yesterday, so that's what I was doing. Yes, with your jeans inside out, by the way. So you're supposed to iron them. It says so right in the jeans. Haven't you ever noticed on clothes, on clothes, they have these little tags with these little essays? Well, but it says that you have to, <laughs> to wash <laughs> them inside out. Yeah, it says nothing, nothing about, about ironing, ironing no, it inside out. Iron inside out. It wash inside, inside out. out, yes. This is like when you put a donkey into that story a few weeks ago because you wanted it in there. <laughs> Wait a minute, hold it. When did you put a donkey in a story just because you wanted it in there? Remember, he said that they take fish up to these lakes and they use donkeys. Yes. And in the story, that's it didn't right. say donkey. That's it's right. a damn word about a donkey. He no, put it, it in said, there. Yeah, that's because yes. I was reading a book about uh, going down the Grand Canyon and uh, donkeys. Well, that doesn't make it right to just throw donkeys in stories. Josh, what do you have to say about it? Is this it? song about ironing or donkeys? Quite honestly, about irony. I think Tom's just practicing true journalism these days by <laughs> yeah. adding whatever he wants. <laughs> Yeah, I think you're right, Josh. Yeah. Well, That's how we do it. It's a free-for-all. <laughs> but yeah, you guys have a song about it, right? We do, we do indeed. You want to start it there, Dean? I guess. Here we go! <laughs> quiet start, apparently. Tom is ironing man! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Look at that. <laughs> Love this riff. What's he doing? Has he lost his mind? <laughs> Shut their blinds, long extension cord, and a brand new ironing board. Yeah. Oh. Go, man, go. It's a sunny day. He's pressing jeans in his driveway. Tom has gone cuckoo. Now he's dying his blue jeans blue. No one can stop it. He says it's 
important oh. to wear freshly starched dungarees. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Woo! Woo! Oh, God, very nice. I love the that. dancing. <laughs> you sold that. Oh. And that I, have, I, have, I hate to yes. go into guitar town here, but uh, <laughs> I can't help but notice that uh, Dean, I believe in honor of Black <laughs> Sabbath, is playing the double cutaway. Do you want to explain what that is, Dean? Oh, yeah. If you're playing Tony Iommi song, you have to play a Gibson <laughs> SG. You got to play an SG, the double cutaway. Yeah. That is very nice. Now, did you have to buy that? As, did you tell your wife, I have to go buy a new SG because we're doing this tune tomorrow? Well, no, I didn't have to tell my wife. Oh, oh sorry. I'm now, sorry. Dean, I've heard SG stands for Spanish guitar. Is that true? That That is absolutely incorrect. Oh. <laughs> is that, now, are those humbucking pickups? These are both humbuckers in oh. here. Oh, okay. Now, that's now, a real word, not, Christy. These are totally I different know. than what Tony Iommi uses. He uh -huh. uses some custom wound ones that he, that he had done back in the uh, 60s. Yeah. Yeah. Now, the SG, does that have different action than a Les Paul? Or oh, well, boy. now, a lot of times I feel different. Now, technically, Willie, the SG started oh, out right. as a Les Paul, so but Les Paul didn't like yeah. that design, yeah. so he took his name off of it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, wow. Oh, valuable information. Okay, very thanks. popular guitar, okay. though. Oh, that's enough. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Kyle. Well, I can tell you more about it. That's okay. Hey, when Tony Iommi was in here, I noticed he had kind of a pencil thin mustache. Uh, remember that? He had kind oh, of a he did. sculpted yeah, right. beard. So, just you're like Pat Godwin's getting the pencil thin mustache. I thought we were doing that this week. What happened? I'm ready. Well, if we Razor? do it today, if we, if we do it today, Pat, you're going to be on stage at Mason oh. City. Oh, yeah, Limits you got to wait till Monday. Monday. Why did you remind him of that? <laughs> With a pencil thin no. mustache. Oh, oh, my God. Let's wait till Monday. Yeah, I think we better wait till Monday. That, I mean, it's going to be. I'll do it. Do you want to get on stage in Mason City with a no, pencil thin dyed do black mustache? I need the money. Okay, okay. I need the money. People are going to demand their money back because you look like Zorro. Uh, okay, well, that was a great song, Pat. Thank you very much. Terrific. Terrific. Well, I haven't, Dean, uh, Dean killed it. I'm going to be dyeing some of my jeans this weekend. That's what a that's unfortunate. Day. You can buy Rit Denim Blue. When do these I hope people... Mr. Hostel or a girl is listening right now on when, Twitter because she asked about when, the pencil. When do these people that live with you come back and they can keep you in some sort of order? When do, when do they... Sunday? When are they back tomorrow. <gasps> tomorrow? Ooh. Oh, good. You know, I talk Thank about this God. in therapy. <laughs> I, bet you I, say, I say, listen to all this stuff. I'm afraid of the wackadoo I'm going to turn into if I keep this up. Yeah. What does your therapist say? He just goes, honestly, your dad's paying the bills. Just listen. Just stay by him. That, that's right. <laughs> just listen. Am I, am I paying this guy? I don't even know who he is. Is it a guy or a gal? Yeah, you I, you pay for at least three of your kids' therapy. You got no clue about it. <laughs> so. I have help. Uh, let's move forward here. Uh, Christy Lee once again at the Navy Federal Credit Union News Desk. Great song there, fellas. Very nice. Uh, Dean was wonderful. Uh, 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 we are uh, apologies uh, to Mr. Iomi and the rest of the Sabs. <laughs> oh, I think they would be very impressed. The Sabs. Uh -huh. I hate when you say that. <laughs> true, true fans always call. No, they the don't. Sad. True. Fans. Then, they're, then they're too high. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a sweet story: the Rudolph and Santa figures from the stop motion animation special Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer going up for auction have perished in a fire. No, they didn't perish. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Auction house profiles and history said the six inch tall Rudolph and eleven inch tall Santa that were used to animate the 1964 TV special it's great. are it's expected great to fetch between a hundred and fifty and two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Wow! Figurines are being sold together in the auction. It starts November 3rd. Collector Peter Lutario uh, bought the figurines about 15 years ago after seeing them appraised on Antique Roadshow on PBS. I, I believe uh, Peter's last name is Hangdown. <laughs> Peter, Hang Peter Hangdown. Peter Hangdown. He initially mm. thought he would never sell the <laughs> items, but after recently turning 65, he thought he had something to leave for his children and grandchildren. Children, but they don't the speak to him anymore, so he, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a sweet he story. He falls asleep in front of the TV. He says Rudolph's night. nose still lights up. All by himself. I've taken very special care of yes. Rudolph. He's yeah. an extra special toy. Do you suppose all the puppets are still out there? Like the heat miser? And <gasps> yeah. Oh, I he... hope so. Speaking Snow of, miser. Speaking of Peter Hangdown. <laughs> Mr. Hangdown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have no uh, memory of that whatsoever. <laughs> Mr. Hangdown. Could you play that again? That's Absolutely. Funny. What is this from? I don't know. Is that your voice? Uh, no. Mr. Hangdown. Oh, maybe it is. Bring me That's Chick singing. Mr. Hangdown. Bring us on. <laughs> Bring us <laughs> What's he, what's he bringing? Bring I don't get it. A D. A D, yes. Oh. Yeah. Wow, 
that is uh, that is spectacular. Boom, 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 boom. I think that's uh, Mr. I think that's Mr. Potisnik. Play it again. Um, I'll say it kind of did sound like. Sing with it. See. Mr. Hangout. Oh yeah, it is me. Is that you and is that you and Scott? Mr. Hangout. It might be all three of you. I, th I feel like I hear a little you in there. It was Chick says, there's stuff that we do I have no memory of. <laughs> yes, of like a six-minute bit, true. and I have no memory of writing it, thinking about it, or voicing it. It happens uh, quite often. <laughs> um, anyway, this, so I'm sorry. So they're selling the, uh, yeah. the figurines from the stop. One of the cool things about some of these old, old Christmas specials is if, if you, little kids will watch them, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they'll, they don't care that it's stop motion. They, they don't. They, no. There's a charm to that. Yes. It and all of us grew up with that, no They're matter wonderful. what. But also, because what's, they what, always what came was back. the uh, Wes Anderson movie that was with all the... Uh, Fantastic Fox, yeah. Mr. Fox and Isle of Dogs. Yeah, to bring that art form back, it's, yeah. it's still, for little kids especially, it's so cool. Yeah. They don't care that it's not ultra high-tech whatever the latest picks are, right. which I love, but I mean, it's it's just nice that the simple stuff still works. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. And, Terrific. And uh, sometimes the simpler the better. That's why I love puppet shows. I have a copy of that little Rudolph with his nose that lights up. Yeah. I put it out every Christmas. Oh, I love it. Yeah. I love it. Beautiful. Mm, yeah. Do you remember my negativity for the holidays that our, our, Dean, our producer, got me? It's, it a has, it's the nativity scene, but everyone has a scowl on their face. <laughs> it's called the negativity. <laughs> it's called That's the hilarious. negativity. Yes, it's lovely. I put it out every year. Chick, I just like said, you remember my negativity for the holidays. I know when he said that, I thought. <laughs> yeah, I, I know well, what you I all were thinking, no. but no, it's an actual display that I put out. I remember That's Chick funny. being that negative about Christmas. The negativity. So what do you do if you, if you buy the original Rudolph? Mm -hmm. Do you put that in a nativity scene? No, oh, no, no. You keep them in a box That's far blasphemous. away. You can't do that. You what do you mean? You've got the camel. Yeah. You've got the other animals. They Is didn't it? have reindeer in Bethlehem. They had Rudolph. I've seen the special. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he <laughs> was anywhere near Bethlehem in the special. No, no I don't know why, but I'm uncomfortable. There were three wise men, and there was Rudolph. <laughs> if I remember right. Okay, and Frosty I, the I, 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 want an, I want an honest answer from you, Christy. When you were a kid, and you heard about frankincense... Didn't you immediately think it was something to do with Frankenstein? I can't say yes because I grew up Catholic and it was very important early on. And in they my told life. you what I Frankincense and myrrh, yes. Yeah. I didn't know who Murray Mur was, but I knew it from Murray. Yeah, no, I thought it was like Franken, like Spider Man has spider sense and Frankenstein has Frankenstein. Well, that would make that's sense, yes. But <laughs> that's what I thought. About. That's, that's what, amazing. What, right? what, what, what power does that give him? Frankenstein, he can, uh, he knows whenever scientists are around him. Uh, he, he knows can, fire bad? Yes. <laughs> fire bad. He can sing fire and bad. dance. He can always find <laughs> bolts wherever they are. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, uh, coming up, uh, we have. Um, he asked you and he dismissed it immediately. Oh, yeah, yeah he yeah. doesn't want to know. Honestly, I wasn't bringing it today, Josh. I'm just going to kind of let it move on. It's a time Try to explain how the time works. See, I, I knew up. that was coming. <laughs> uh, involves, uh, involves the future of your paycheck. And uh, we have uh, coming up uh, the uh, crying lessons. We Take have a, yes. a beaver update. Oh, like, I need lessons. <laughs> Pat, beaver update. Uh, I know what you're talking about, Tommy. And karaoke uh, has been outlawed. Oh, so we do have time to kill. Okay. Uh, and a horse skeleton. Right. No, this is also part of No, he didn't have work. time to hit anyone else to talk. Okay. Uh, I'll explain how this works. Here we go. And I'll your, leave. With your <laughs> pink slip. <laughs> <laughs> I had to make new pink slips with enough room for a short essay. Oh, I want to remind you that um, hmm. the FBI is uh, happy to report, or unhappy to report, I guess I really should say, that uh, consumer fraud is way, way, way up. The FTC is uh, also involved in this now, reminding people that uh, con, art con artists, I should say, have filed tens of thousands of fraudulent, un uh, fraudulent unemployment claims using consumers' identities. So if you are um, applying for that money that you deserve and it went to somebody else, that would be a very bad day. That's where LifeLock comes in. It's a very inexpensive service that helps keep track of your identity and helps you find out if someone is trying to steal it. So the FTC and the FBI are in on the action. You should be in on it too. Check out LifeLock by going to LifeLock.com. No one can prevent all identity theft or monitor transactions at all businesses. LifeLock can see threats you might miss on your own. Join right now and save up to 25% on your first year the promo code, Tom25, 1-800-LIFELOCK or head to lifelock.com. The promo code, Tom25, don't let somebody steal your identity. And you can get 25% off right now, Tom25 at lifelock.com. Crying lessons up next. This is the Bob and Tom Show.
Don't say we didn't warn you. I'm warning you, don't do that. There's laughter ahead. I should be having a better time <laughs> if this is a party. <laughs> this is Bob and Tom 24-7. Hey, we caught up with Al Jackson this week. Normally, he's on Thursday. He was on Wednesday, and I mentioned his children's book, Where Is Baby Ford? It's available at aljacksonlive.com. Portions of the proceeds benefit the Firefly Autism School in Lakewood, Colorado. So imagine that. Al Jackson, not just a talented comedian and co-host of the nationally syndicated daytime talk show Daily Blast Live, but now an author of a children's book, where is Baby Four? Check it out again, available at aljacksonlive.com. And we'll be catching up with Al again Thursday of next week, right here on Bob and Tom 24 7. More of the Bob and Tom show coming up. I'm Mark Allison with your Bob and Tom entertainment news from the Navy Federal Credit Union Entertainment News Desk. Want to buy Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer? If your desire and your pockets are deep enough, here's your chance. This is the six-inch tall version of the reindeer that was used to animate the 1964 special that finds its way onto TV every year. One of my personal favorites. The auction house Profiles in History is selling off the tiny Rudolph along with the 11-inch Santa that starred in the animated special. The figures, which are being sold as a set, are expected to fetch between $150,000 and $250,000 when they go up for bids starting November 13th. Going to have to ask Tom for a raise. Rental electric scooters are a common sight in European cities as they are in larger U.S. cities. But what should be done with those scooters that are souped up, that they really scoot? Authorities in Oslo say they've gotten their hands on one such offender. They've seized a privately owned electric scooter that can top out over 36 miles per hour. That's three times the legal limit. Appropriately, the scooter was stopped on suspicion of illegal speeding. Police say the owner faces prosecution, but didn't say what kind of punishment that they could face. The musical based on Alanis Morissette's Jagged Little Pill album and one about Tina Turner will face off for Best Musical at the Tony Awards. Jagged Little Pill and Tina, the Tina Turner musical, competing against the musical version of Moulin Rouge. If Tina wins, Turner could win her first Tony because she's a producer. Adrian Warren, who portrays Turner, is up for Best Lead Actress in a Musical. Jagged Little Pill leads the nominations with 15. Turner has 12. David Byrne's American Utopia was not eligible to be nominated. The date of the Tonys has yet to be announced. That's a look at your entertainment news. More of the Bob and Tom Show coming up. This is Bob and Tom 24-7. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Figaro Lapu. Are you like me? Do you love to eat, but sometimes your food does not love you back? Oh my, that is quite unpleasant, is it not? Here at the Frigamal Industries, we have developed a pill that will take the stink out of... Of course, we cannot muffle the noise, but we can eliminate that embarrassing, eye-watering, wallpaper-peeling aroma. You will still hear the... But the aroma will be a designer fragrance chosen especially for you. We have country pine. Potpourri. Musk. And my personal favorite, sea breeze. On your face. We call this modern miracle pill Flatulante. I'm going to sing for you now. <laughs> if you're a gentleman or a debutante, go out and get yourself some flatulante. Your gas can smell like roses. No need to hold your noses. You can rip one off when you want it. If your belly's an inferno, just like Dante, and you're sitting in a crowded restaurant, feel free to go boom, boom. You won't clear the room. They'll think your thoughts are ever so fragrante. <laughs> Everybody sing. Flatulante, go ahead and toot. Flatulante, the air you won't pollute. You're pulling your own finger because you want to cut the cheese. <laughs> now 
enjoy your breaking wind so much your ass gives off a breeze. <laughs> Darling, I have never seen you looking so lovely. <laughs> This is a great restaurant. Wait till you see the menu. Good evening, Monsieur, Mademoiselle. I am Jacques. May I take... Well, I guess um, it's official. Uh, we can't play commercials anymore and come off the air because people start, hey, hi, it's the Bob and Tom Show. Um, Welcome back on Q95. Uh, uh, let's see. Christy Lee has a quick forecast. Q95, Fox 59 weather brought to you by Carax. Sunny 56, partly cloudy tomorrow, 62, sunny 32 degrees right now. What That's the, freezing. What do you think, President of Indiana, Josh Arnold? <laughs> present in Indiana. <laughs> you must be President of Indiana. <laughs> How long have you been sitting on... <laughs> well, welcome back. <laughs> welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Chick, sorry, decorum. Um, let's see. Suey. So big suey. Big suey. Go I, I, I can feel it in the air. I think it's it's about time for the Ace Cosby joke of the day. Ace, of course, is our engineer. Very handsome man. <laughs> yes. Incredible. see you, Ace. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, Ace's new book is called Chick. Chick. <laughs> I'm looking at NFL updates. Honest to gosh, I'm, so, I'm not shopping now. No, I was no. shopping earlier. Coming up, coming up, Napa Auto Parts presents the shoe in a booth. Unreasonable, unreasonable confidence. That's the, the Ace Cosby biography. Ghost written by someone else with Ace's picture on the front of the book. Uh, thank you very much. There you go. Uh, let's see. There's Josh. There's Christy. I'm Tom. Actually, Lily G is there. Patty G on his way to the famous Mason City Limits Comedy Club, Mason City, Illinois, tonight and tomorrow. Yes. Um, you know, wait a minute. I'm kind of concerned that when Tom went chick and everybody jumped in on me like I didn't answer right away. Well, it's because I said. Yeah, and everybody. What's the name, what's the name I, of Ace's book? Just, no. <laughs> but you weren't looking at the computer. You are looking at your phone. Get off. Because oh, you only I, had. I was looking to find out who the. Uh, we only had seven minutes to do it. Pig <laughs> who, the, who the Razorbacks are playing this week. You know, chick. Boy, you know, no one likes a rat snitch. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> like Tom. I ain't scared of you, pal. Let's go. Let's go. I am not scared. It's happening. Good oh, boy. It's happening. Finally. God has got my back. I got news for you. I just doing Bernie Mac. I love this. <laughs> That's right. You son of a bitch. Is that what Bernie Mac says? I ain't scared said, of you. Son of a bitch. Uh, no, that you're thinking of. Um, some of the bitches. Uh, uh, Johnny Dangerous. Johnny Dangerous. Johnny Dangerous. <laughs> Ramoni. Or, uh, son of a bitch. It's one of the first uh, the great, hell are you talking great about? halves of a movie ever. <laughs> yeah, oh, man. Yeah. Funny, funny curse words. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, where were we? Oh, oh I, I promised we had the Ace Cosby. These are really jokes, are they, Ace? No, this no. Is, observations uh, into my life. Yes, barely uh, sentences. This is the, uh, I, I like to call it the op-ed page of contemporary culture with uh, commentary and uh, cultural insight mm -hmm. from Mr. Ace Cosby. Well, last weekend I had these spots on my face, so I went to the doctor. Right. I said, doctor, I've got these spots on my face, like, <laughs> like cherries on a cheesecake. He said, hmm. You must have an allergy. <laughs> there is an analogy yeah. there. Sorry, I had to. I was a little slow on the trigger. Oh, I was true. It's doing the math. Trying to figure out. Oh, analogy. Oh. Yeah. 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 You got an analogy. Yeah, that's analogy. The, the similarity of the word allergy and analogy. Uh -huh. right. and, and anality, I think, would be the... Do I have to uh, say it again? Now can we do something? <laughs> <laughs> Please? Uh, would you like to hear a little bit of Johnny Dangerously? I think the, si oh, yes. I think the silence was funny. This is, this is the This is the greatest... <laughs> well, there's your problem. This is the greatest, well, the, shows, the greatest mock cursing uh, from the movie Johnny Dangerous. Here we go. You fucking sneaky bastard. <laughs> I'm going to take you to work. I'm going to nail it to the wall. I'm going to crush your boils in a meat grinder. So I did summon a patch of my own club. <laughs> take your boils in a meat grinder. He that misses, guy. He misses and pronounces a lot, but he has meat grinder. It's, he uh, nails it's, that. It's, it's, it's uh, indescribably funny. That was, movie was not a success, though. No, it got Never uh, saw following it. on VHS, but oh, it's funny. I'll have to watch it. it. The first Maybe I'll do that this weekend. Really My dad laugh. was, he, I, he he spoke for years about how that man should have won an Academy Award. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that guy? He didn't really show up in anything yeah. else. I've IMDb'd him, and he's just, he was just this. Wasn't uh, Michael Keaton and Joe Piscopo, yeah. I think? Yeah, and right. Peter Boyle and uh, Gr uh, Griffin. Griffin. Maureen. Great cast. Oh, that's right, Griffin. Yeah, Dunn. Danny Griffin DeVito. Oh, I love Griffin Dunn. Alan Ladd. Is that is really? that the uh, gentleman's name who played the skipper? Yeah. Hale. Alan Hale. Alan Hale. Alan Hale. Thank you. Yeah. Alan Hale is oh, a junior. Oh, he's a cop, or? right? Isn't he one of the cops? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Had a very nice restaurant. Alan Hale Gars. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh. Uh, we have a Christy Lee at the uh, Navy Federal Credit Union News Desk. What's going on? Uh, well, the lesson here is cry and be happy. 
Usually you cry when you're sad. But Haidufumi Yoshiada is a self described teacher. And how are you? Tear oh. teacher. Tear teacher. He encourages people to shed a few tears every once in a while. Uh, shed, shed, wait. No. shed a few. Yeah. I said shed. <laughs> I, I, I got worried when you said Yoshida. <laughs> <laughs> Where? <laughs> Yoshida. Yo, yo, Yoshida. Yo, yo, lucky his last name isn't my pants. <laughs> That's the only reason you wanted to do this story. Yeah, yeah. I could have written pants. Yoshida on, 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 into any tonight, other story. On Shello, and it won't make any difference. Yoshida what in the this, pants. <laughs> <laughs> his, his mother was Italian. <laughs> Father of Japanese era. Great cellist. Great yeah. cellist. Hooked oh, up yeah. during World War II. <laughs> right. Mussolini right. met Hirohito. <laughs> and now Yo Yo Ma and Yoshida. Are you happy now? <laughs> no, I just noticed I didn't do it that way on purpose. Yes, you did. So it's a cry. So the guy teaches people. He encourages people to, cry. people to shed a few tears every once in a while as a way to relieve stress and lead a happier life. Japanese are my least... little punk. You're not crying. Come over here. I'm going to slam your hand in the door. <laughs> You get an A. You're gonna eat. You're gonna eat a quart of wasabi. <laughs> Japanese are among the least likely of all nationalities to cry, and some would go as far as to say there is a stigma surrounding crying in Japan. Is that right? Yeah. Hmm. Was that your experience in South Korea? So take that, Yoshida. Um, no, it was not. The Koreans are very uh, unabashed when it comes to their emotions, and yeah. Did you have a young lady? Start sobbing around you ever? What the oh, heck? Yes, I, what yes I did. You know why? Why? Why, Josh? Because I ate her pie. Right? She had a pie cooling on the counter, and I ate it. And then, after I paid her for sex, I tried to give her a personal check. And she said no. Kept crying. I just wanted cash, and boy, did she cry. And then, as I stepped out of her apartment, so fat, I'm so, so fat. <laughs> My body's better than me. Nobody's better than me. All I do, I, I have a bulletin. Oh, I'm so sorry. I love this now. That I just have to hint at it, and Josh just does the jokes for me. They're, they're, they're so much funnier when you do them. You have a bulletin. Okay, what is it? Oh, what a baby. This from the Indianapolis Colts this morning. Quote, this morning, we were informed several individuals within our organization have tested positive for COVID-19. The team is currently in the process of confirming those tests. In the meantime, the practice facility will be closed and the team will work remotely while following NFL protocols. We are in communication with the league and will have more information when available. Ooh, okay. No word on the game Sunday in Indianapolis when the Colts host, host the Bengals. We will see. Okay. We will see. There you go. It's going to be a good game. Maybe if it happens. Yes. Okay. Well, we'll see. Uh, in the meantime, we return to the uh, we return to the news desk with Chris. Manila residents are no longer allowed to sing. Where Manila? Oh, okay. I you know where they. I and thought you said Enola. Where the envelope What the hell is it? No one listening to me today. <laughs> what? She's finally. You realize this is not the day to push her. <laughs> you know, before the show started, she and I were both talking about what I believe is called homicide. <laughs> Manila Sorry. residents are no longer allowed to sing karaoke from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. I say make it 7 a.m. to 7 a.m. Monday <laughs> through Sunday. Monday through Saturdays. Huh. Mayor Francisco. Francisco in Manila. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Philippines. Francisco Domagoso oh. signed city ordinance number 8688, enacting the rule immediately after officials received complaints from parents that karaoke sessions in the day have been disrupting their children's classes at home. Karaoke machines have become quite popular among those trying to pass the time during isolation. Hmm. They've also been disruptive within the tightly packed communities in the capital city of the Philippines. Oh, it'd be really awkward. So if you, you can't even sing karaoke at home? No, the, the the houses are really close together, and oh. there's a big article in the New York Times yesterday, and I I think that um, think about it, you're 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 trying to teach your kid, and mm -hmm. you're doing remote <laughs> learning, and all of a sudden you hear someone doing the karaoke of Hot for Teacher. It's just <laughs> it's just, uh, just awkward. I, that, that's, yeah. what, that's what I would think. Um, uh, other things you can do while day drinking, moms and dads. <laughs> um, yeah, I think it's the kids that are probably doing it. What's your right. go-to karaoke song? Josh. Brandy by looking. <laughs> I turned my mic. Oh boy, I turned my mic off. I'm sorry. Did that go over the? Yeah, you turned your mic off. Then what'd you do? Walk over to Ace's mic? <laughs> <laughs> the loudest sneeze. <laughs> Would you like a towel? My God. Yeah, I think I might need a towel. Yeah, right. No, I'm fine. Okay. Yeah, good. COVID. <clears throat> sorry. Uh, Brandy by Looking Glass is one of them. 
And then I do a pretty mean version of You Ought to Know by Alanis Morissette. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. 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 That gets My karaoke going. begins and ends with Footsteps by Pearl Jam. That's right. Is that, is that right? Oh, I, I kill it. I kill it. Wow. you got to have 17 beers, and then <laughs> it, we're off to the races. Ace, I somehow don't see you doing karaoke. No, I do it for real. Oh, oh. of course. Oh. Oh. What about again, you, Tommy? Book, unreasonable Confidence <laughs> by Ace Cosby. Okay. Willie, you a karaoke guy? I'm trying to think. I like karaoke. I like to do a duet, get a lady, get a fella in there with me, and then we yeah. kind of see if we can harmonize together, create some magic. What about you, Tommy? <laughs> you ever karaoke'd? Two words. God, no. <laughs> oh, you do the Beach Boys. God only yeah. knows. Nice. God only knows. Yes. God only knows when you're about to do That's a great choice. changes are tricky, but you, you dominate it. You I'd be it. interested, because we all know no one thinks like he does. Right. What is your reasoning for never participating in karaoke? You it hate can be it. something as simple as you don't like. I don't want to displease the audience. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, you sing all the time. Yeah, you have yeah. Yeah. great songs. Yeah. Well, yeah. let's not get karaoke. You never Why, worry you about displeasing the, the audience every morning. <laughs> I can't. I can't see their distaste. Oh, yeah, it's too personal. Now. I know so you you'll do. sing for you millions, but not ten in a karaoke. Booth? Yeah, the shut up right. song's good. Right. For karaoke, <laughs> you could do the King George song from Hamilton. Oh, oh. Love to do oh Tom, you could do it. I wish I could do that. I'd have to do a talk sing though. I, that's, that's a fine. great song. That is a great song. Okay. Huh. Um, uh, Christy, what did you say yours was? You could do a Dick Mango song. Yeah. You do a good Dick Mango yeah. impression. Yeah. Yeah. I, don't know. I don't know. It's not as good as Chick's Mr. Obvious impression. Right, that's true. Although yeah, that's yeah, kind of weak lately. Right. Yeah. Getting rusty. It is a little rusty. No, I, I can't do it. Uh, I've only karaoke twice, and I either a Pat Benatar or a Pink song. They're about you only karaoke twice? Yeah, not that I don't want to. I would love to go. You need to let some love into your life, Christy. You I know. It'd be fun. Karaoke. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Didn't we have Pink News we did. <laughs> um, <laughs> it depends on what you're singer? talking about. You mean the singing artist? The sing oh, not singer? Alicia Moore. I know. Uh, coming up, yes. I just found, I forgot to give this to you, Christy. We did have pink news because I remember the day you said it, you said we have pink news. And I said, and we also have stink news. Oh. Me and Josh giggled. Well, we already had the stink news. That was the guy that had the money in his <laughs> keys. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, but right now, since uh, we uh, were just talking about him, perhaps we can um, hear a little of uh, Mr. O coming up. Yeah. Oh, good. Um, we'll do it a little bit later on, actually. Hmm. Uh, we have um, uh, a, a couple of letters I want to get to, and uh, I think I can squeeze that. Did I give you the thing about the pink? The thing about the pink? No, Pat, I thought you had a song about the karaoke. I'm sorry. I... Here we go. Um, yeah, this is it. Del Monte has created a pink pineapple. Oh, no, I haven't really? seen that. And um, it's a little pricey. Oh. Okay. Like how pricey? 50 bucks. What? Oh, um, that, that for one pineapple? Thing. It's considered sweeter and juicier than traditional pineapples. No, thanks. With the brand describing the flavor as having, quote, uh, Josh, you'll love the verbiage here, <laughs> notes of candy aromatics. <laughs> is that right? Yes. Yeah, my favorite drag queen is candy aromatics. <laughs> really? She's great, yeah. Yes. I'm spelled with a K-S at the end. I love to see that show. She does really good work. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. What, what kind, of, what kind of, of corporate food speak Boy. is notes of candy aromatics? I've been know, told that it makes uh, ladies, you know, pineapple works on. Yeah. Makes yeah. the fellas. And makes the ladies yeah. taste great the same way. Oh, really? Yep. Like well, the pink <clears throat> pineapple, uh -huh. yes. um, it's known as the jewel of the jungle. Oh, it takes 24 months to produce. Jewel. Jewel. Jewel, 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 Jewel of, of the jungle. jungle. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Tastes like candy. The pink oh. loaf pineapple only available In for Hawaii? purchase for forty nine ninety nine through pinkglowpineapple.com. Chick, it is true that pineapple does improve the taste of a woman. Uh, but really? the, the tough part is uh, talking her into letting you shove it up there. <laughs> <laughs> That was certainly delicate, wasn't it? You know, I think the, I think the word shove lends no, I, uh, earthiness I, I, to I, I any a, conversation. I, I'd go with up there. there oh, nose. Yeah, okay. It could be nose. Right. Sorry, okay. sorry. Theoretically. Oh, so funny. Okay. Um, <laughs> slot. It's my new obsession. Oh, Aerosmith. I forgot about this song. I did, too. It's I like not this. even a question. I don't want pink on my Singer pizza. Pink? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. That's <laughs> all I'm saying. Uh, well, there you go. Um,
pink pine. Twenty four months to grow one of these babies, and fifty bucks. Wow! And you got to ship it from Hawaii, so I guess that well, that's, that's not, not going to be cheap. That's not bad for what? Yeah, when you put it like that, fifty bucks for. No, I think it's fifty bucks in Hawaii or wherever they grow these things. Oh. I don't even know if it says where they grow. That's them. bad. Because what's a traditional pineapple? Three bucks. And you like your food, Pink. I know you're a big fan of undercooked chicken. I love it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had some chicken tartare last night. <laughs> Medium rare. Yeah. He's, got some, uh, he's got some cramps today, but yeah. still. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, boy, this vomit tastes good. <laughs> I'm riddled with worms, but still. It's a... <laughs> I think riddled with worms was one of Donnie's projects. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a solo project. Uh, Donnie, I believe, is in uh, Liberty Township, Ohio, with the Liberty Funny Bone tonight and tomorrow. Is that correct? Oh, is that, I don't know. Along it? with Mr. Godwin in Mason City. Uh, yeah. uh, coming up tonight. That's Mason City, Illinois at Mason City Limits. And they'll be, by the way, limiting the audience. Yeah, socially distanced. Uh, socially distanced. Mm, sure. Uh, bring your own 10 Now, are they ball. limiting the audience because of the uh, current climate it's, or it's because all, Pat's the act? It's always limited when I'm there. <laughs> not very nice. Or true. We're, we're trying to be funny. and that uh, He meant it in a good way. Oh, is that true? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I mean about what he... No. Uh, okay. Uh, right, uh, right now, Mr. M Mr. McGee is... Yes. Um, has brought to my attention. Let's say you're uh, my, going to my see, favorite earbuds. Let's say you're going to see Pat tonight, and you don't really want to listen to him. Put your earbuds in. Put, Put your, your earbuds Raycon, in. Her Raycon E25s in, and there, and off you go. They're the best yet, Tom. I did the legwork on this. The Recon. I searched the world over, and I found the Raycon E25 earbuds a couple so of years saying, ago. So you're saying you did the Recon on the Raycons? That's exactly. Yes. That's great. Is that a new uh, phrase? Uh, the Raycon Recon. I like that very much. Six hours of playtime. More bass. More compact design, nice noise, isolating fit, no dangling wires or stems, stylish, discreet, and seamless Bluetooth pairing. Celebrities like Mike Tyson, Snoop, and yours truly, we're obsessed with Raycons, and now's the time for you to see what all the hype is about. We get love letters every single day from people who've purchased Raycons and will never give them up. Uh, they're waiting for new pairs, actually. Give them a try. Raycon has a 45-day free return policy. You can make sure... They're the pair of wireless earbuds for you. Try them before you buy them. And for a limited time, of course, get 15% off your order at buyraycon.com slash Tom. That's buyraycon.com slash Tom for that special 15% discount on Raycon wireless earbuds. Just go to buyraycon.com slash Tom. It makes any task better when you've got some great tunes in your head. Mm -hmm. Listen to a great show. Maybe uh, since Chick did the, the recon, mm -hmm. maybe you're out there today. Putting down the decon. Yeah. <laughs> wearing, wearing your Raycons. <laughs> With Rondo. <laughs> oh, sorry. Rando. Wrong, wrong bit. <laughs> Coming back with Beaver and a request, Patty G. Can you do your um, Beaver song live? Yeah. Oh, good. We got a request for it. Yeah. And then we got a Beaver update. Okay. Up next, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Add to or continue the conversation. Check out the Bob and Tom Show on Facebook. Get the link at bobandtom.com. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Bob and Tom. If you irradiate poop, it will be sterile, but it's still poop. You can pick your morning radio show, but you can't wipe Bob and Tom on the couch. Hey, Bob and Tom's VIP is still in play. You can get a membership. You can join the VIP premium service. Makes a great holiday gift as well. You can set it up so that someone else can have it. A live seven-camera video stream of the show. Access to the Bob and Tom archives. The complete album library. Over 30 albums in that 
Library. Also, you can listen to the Bob and Tom Show commercial free and on demand with our daily podcast when you're a VIP premium service member. Check it out now at bobandtom.com slash VIP. I'm Chick McGee with your Bob and Tom sports update. The Houston Astros have forced a game six in the American League Championship Series. Carlos Correa, a walk-off home run to center field off Nick Anderson in the bottom of the ninth to end the Astros' 4-3 win over the Rays. Houston wasted leads of 1-0 in 3-1 before Correa's sixth home run of the postseason. The Atlanta Braves are one win away from ending a two-decade World Series drought after a 10-2 win over the Los Angeles Dodgers in Game 4 of the National League Championship Series. And in NFL news, the Atlanta Falcons say they have shut their facility following one new positive test for COVID-19. Defensive tackle Marlon Davidson placed on the virus reserve list this week. The addition of a second unidentified person caused the Falcons to act out of caution and close the facility. A team spokesman said the second person was not a player. The spokesman added that Barring any changes, the Falcons are expected to be back at their facility sometime today. I'm Chick McGee, and that's your Bob and Tom Sports Update. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob and Tom. I have a question for everybody in the room. Go ahead. On a scale from 1 to 10, how funny is this? (laughs) Uh, Nine. Tom, what would you give that? I'd give it a (laughs) 6.9. Yeah, we do have farting in the news. Do we? A Oof. man in the UK received a suspended jail sentence after um, farting in an Uber. They're going to do a TV version of this, of course. Is that right? Yeah. Uh-huh. It's called Law and Order. <laughs> I, I like it. I like it. Yeah. Like I, 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 well, yeah. you're, you're wrong. <laughs> you're simply wrong. Law I thought, and Odor. Because then you can go Law and o- Odor SBD. <laughs> yeah. You can do all of this. Bob and Tom in the morning and highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24-7. Bob and Tom 24-7. Hey, first we gave you Real Girls on Video going. Woo! And the follow-up, Real Girls on Video going. Woo-hoo! And the bonus follow-up. Real girls on video going. Woo! You would think that would be enough, huh? Nuh-uh. We're going one step further for the ultimate follow-up video. We've got real girls who got real drunk and woke up with real bad hangovers and God only knows what else. Here's a sample. Okay. Shh, shh, hey, be quiet. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Um, it's about six in the morning, and we're just outside of our victim's door, right here in some skanky dormitory on campus. Let's go in. Well, hey, what have we got here? If it isn't one of our real girls on video from last night. Good morning, sunshine. Ugh. Hey, what the? Oh, no. What are you guys doing here? Hey. Hey, I signed the waiver. No biggie, darling. <laughs> We're just here to film for our follow-up video, Real Girls on Video, who got real drunk and woke up with real bad hangovers, and only God knows what else. Hey, how you feeling? Oh, awful. I think I'm still drunk. Hey, I'm not surprised. Harry Buffalo draft beer and a few shooters. What were you thinking? Oh, God. Hey, well, you looky there. If it ain't one of our Real Girls on Video t-shirts. On the floor. Oh, yeah. Hey, that garment got a real you work out last night. Ugh. Darling, I hate to make this any worse for you, but I can't help but notice that there's someone else in your bed. Uh, yeah, that's my new steady boyfriend. Yeah, right. He looks like one of last night's obnoxious drunk guys going... Oh, yeah. Wrong. He's sensitive, sincere, and he loves me. Uh, yeah, yeah, right. Hey, mind if I try something? What? Hey, 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 pal, wake up. Oh, oh, it's the camera dudes from last night. How's it hanging? Hey, pretty good. <laughs> Let me ask you something. You know that girl lying next to you? What's her name? Uh, uh, Tina. Tina? Uh, Sarah. Sarah? <laughs> Not even close. Hey, darling, you think this could all get any worse for you? Well, actually, I think I'm going to be sick. Oh, yeah. yeah. That reminds me. When you weren't a real girl's on video who got real drunk and woke up with real bad hangovers and God only knows what else, you get the bonus tape. Real girls spewing real hurls on video. Hey, 
Hey, 846 at Q95. It's the Bob and Tom Show. And uh, tonight, my Indy TV 23. It'll be the Bob and Tom Show. We call it Bob and Tom Tonight. At 11.30. And on Saturday. That's correct as well. Thank you very much, Ace Cosby, the mellifluous voice. The pipes, as they call it in the industry, of the legendary Ace Cosby. I thought they called him the pipe. Both. The pipe? Oh, I see. Uh, yeah, yeah. Come well, on. I... Uh, <laughs> Some do. Yes, uh, the human tripod, no. I think, is the... Uh, well, I've just been mm. completely <laughs> derailed again. I have no idea what's happening. Mm. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks very much for joining us. Uh, I know that we have one audience member out there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's nice to know. Uh, just one, huh? It's my computer. Um, oh. Two of the things we've been talking about today just showed up when I Googled something in Albuquerque, New Mexico. So well, they're listening. Hi, Albuquerque. Because yeah, uh, Pat did his funny song about uh, tinnitus slash tinnitus. Came up with that guy's uh, it just, phone. It just came up on my computer just now. Wow. I mean, literally, I just, you know, I don't know how that happened, but it did. Uh, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Uh, thanks for listening. We certainly appreciate it. There's Ace, there's Chick, I'm Tom. That would be uh, Josh Arnold over there at the IHateStevenSinger.com sidekick desk and chair. Yes. Chick is uh, dealing with some NFL issues because coming up, we do have the famous shoe of the week brought to you by Napa Auto Parts. I got to find the games that are going to be played, and I got to find, yeah. It's, Willie G and Patty G are over there. And Christy Lee is, of course, at the Navy Federal Credit Union News Desk. Yes, sir. Uh, Happy uh, Christy, to serve. we promised we'd have a beaver update. Oh, that's right. We did, <laughs> didn't we? Now I got Oh, here it is. On Monday, the city of Roswell, New Mexico, announced that Busy, one of the zoo's two-year-old beavers, had gone missing. Well, an update. He's still missing. Damn. Plus, the press release stated... Thank you. If Good callback. <laughs> see, see, did you get it, Josh? Damn. You Damn. didn't Damn. get it, Josh. <laughs> I, was, I was honestly making fun of him because he did that joke the two days we did the story. So Damn. I was just... Damn. The press release stated if anyone sees Loves a beaver it. in the city or surrounding area, it could possibly be the zoo's animal. How do they know... The difference between a wild beaver I, and the zoo's beaver. Oh, I love Do this they show. have wild beavers? <laughs> Are there a lot of wild beavers in Roswell, New Mexico? I don't know. No, the, uh, well, the captivity be. beavers are wearing hats. They, all, they put hats on the... <laughs> oh, is that true? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's fascinating. And they have toothbrushes. They Busy is one of a pair of brother beavers who recently came to the zoo from the Pittsburgh Zoo in Pennsylvania. They also say, do not pick up or chase the beaver. Oh. I think we'll probably have beavers in Roswell. I've been there. It's a nice place. Don't try to pick up a beaver unless you buy it a drink first. Okay. <laughs> oh, right, right, right. Thank you very much. Uh, well, I think, uh, Pat, you can attest to this. In, in the world of COVID-19, picking up and chasing beaver has been nearly impossible. Yep, you don't do it. <laughs> but tonight... No chasing. What, uh, what if Miss Wright shows up at Mason oh. City Limits in Mason oh. City, Illinois? And She'll sashay her little self right up there to the oh, stage. Yeah. Oh. Would you do it with a mask on? Hey, mister, I really like your songs. I don't know what that accent is. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, obviously Mason City, Illinois. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly, that's famous for the, <laughs> the fact that a lot of women moved Pat. up from Georgia. <laughs> hey there, Mr. Godwin. I love your songs tonight, Pretty Little Glasses. Uh -huh. Oh. Would you make love to me in a mask? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Who's got the mask on? Both of them. Both okay. I hope you brought Jimmy's. <laughs> oh my gosh. Would you make love to be in a mask? It's a mask of George Clooney. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's perfect. Nicely done, Josh. Would you mind putting this bag over your face? <laughs> Matt. <laughs> I'm sorry, Pat. <clears throat> Where were we? Okay, so anyway, Busy the Beaver is uh, still missing. Yes. But, um, yeah. But seriously, how would you know if it's the zoo's beaver or just an, a normal... I'm assuming they don't have beavers in New Mexico. I Does don't anyone know. feel like we're doing a radio show in a cartoon world? <laughs> yes. Busy the beaver is missing? <laughs> oh no! Busy beavers on the loose! Busy the beaver's missing? Sandy the squirrel can't be found either. And, <laughs> you know, you're not going to believe it. Charlie the crocodile oh. <laughs> on the loose again. Humpy the hyena. <laughs> You hyena. really want to stay away from him. Hyena's humping it up, huh? Yeah. Okay. Then he has the nerve to laugh as he yeah. walks away. <laughs> Apparently, the population of beavers in New Mexico estimated to be at 6,000. Great. So, no <laughs> I'm just saying. I have no idea. I don't I know. I told you, they're wearing a hat. The zoo the beaver wears a hat. Okay. Then the, uh, okay, we, here's another press release. It says, do not try to pick up the beaver. They right. Very big deal out of it. <laughs> They'll bite you. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. ever shoot no. a beaver, Christine? No, I've never shot anything. Uh, oh, did you ever shoot a beaver? <laughs> <laughs> no. Double entendre there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know where explain, you were going. I'm not playing. Explain to Christy how that... Uh, uh, boy, they don't shoot a lot of them in Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> ever shoot a moon? How about a moon? Shoot a moon? 
I'm not a mooner. Okay, Christy, back to you. Uh, okay. <laughs> I, thought, I thought Pat had a song for that, too. I guess I'm all... Oh, I'm sorry. You're right. <laughs> I was ready twice with the karaoke and now with yeah, the Yeah, you did do the karaoke song. I, I said twice. You have to say something, Pat. I Pat, can't see over hey, there. Hey, Tom, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> Pat, did I not even say on the air? I thought yeah. you had a song for that. Tom went right over it. But he doesn't need your... You don't need Tom's permission. Step up. Oh, what show are you working for? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Hey, Tom. I, I don't know what Christy's saying. Uh, well, Christy's like on her meds. She's, she's, she's crazy. She's, she's, right? she's, she's, she's having no, rather, sir, rather rough day. No, sir. We're very, all very happy. That? Why is Jess Hooker waving in the hallway? <laughs> eager, over here. eager to listen to whatever you I'm have sorry, to say. I'm sorry. So, Pat, let's do your beaver trick. Okay. Okay. I love That's that. how it works, Christy. Okay. <laughs> I went to a place that served exotic dishes like elk and wild boar. I heard it was delicious, but one thing I ate made me sick. It's so sad to see good beaver gone bad. Well, it was tough and dry. I took a whiff and almost fainted. The pink had turned brown, had a taste that kind of tainted. You take your chances eating out. Oh, I should have had a trout. Good beaver gone bad. You want it fresh, don't let it spoil rotten, or oh, leave it hanging around where it's forgotten. You better eat it while it's hot, cause pretty soon it's not, yeah, good beaver goes bad. <laughs> Sometimes a beaver makes that sound. <laughs> Her love is dried up. The ones were so delicious. She's cruel and she's cold now. Vile and vicious. She was up to no good while she gnawed on the wood. Yeah. Good beaver gone bad. A good beaver. Good beaver. Good beaver gone bad. That's right. Pat Godward and the PF Flyers. <laughs> <laughs> great. Agreed. PF Flyers and Red Ball Jets. Oh, yes. What happened to those? Uh, I don't have that. that I never got like any that. Red Ball Jets. I always wanted them. I shoplifted They were shoes. Do you remember yeah, those? that's why I mentioned the PF Flyers. Yeah. Did you really shoplift I shoplifted a pair. Did you really? Sure. Yeah. I won. <laughs> Yeah, well, sometimes when you want something, you, know, you just, just go ahead take and take it. it. Yeah, take so it. This entire country is built on that. You were such a thief huh? that you were able to try them on and still steal them? <laughs> Nothing for me today, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of there. Okay. I don't ever steal anything, but I'm just going to say this. The salt at the gas station, that's free. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so is the ice. So, yeah, the those, ice. Uh, those little... <laughs> Ask Jake about the ice. I never felt more alive. <laughs> well, look, could we move on? Uh, coming up, we have uh, horse skeletons in the news. Are we going to get our Genghis Khan thing up? Yeah. Yes, we are. I, I don't think it's Genghis Khan. It's Genghis. Genghis Khan. Genghis? Genghis? Yeah. Yeah, oh, I always, Genghis. Thought, I always thought Genghis. 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 Genghis sounds like a name for a grandma. Genghis is the tux place that never... Yeah, I think it's, Genghis? I don't think it's in business anymore. Genghis? Yeah. Oh, I've always said, yeah, Genghis. Genghis. I've always Genghis. said Genghis. Well, they, they, were, they were nationwide. There was the <laughs> the gang they, of, continental oh, Genghis. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, they went, they shortened both words. Yeah, With the course, yeah. flyer. That's not even <laughs> We're coming right back. This mm. is the Bob and Tom Show. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Check out the Bob and Tom Show app and let your voice be heard. Our contact info is right there. Sunshine! 
Bob and Tom 24-7, 24-7. Rolling through a Friday morning. I'm Mark Allison. You're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. Hope you've got some great plans for the weekend with some friends or maybe some family members, maybe socially distancing. Maybe you'll just be making cookies. At any rate, we hope you have some great weekend plans, and we hope you plan on joining us right back here again on Monday. Sure, we take the weekend off, but then we'll be right back full strength Monday morning. And we'll be back full strength with more coming up right after this. Hi, Mark Allison from the Navy Federal Credit Union News Desk. Asian shares mixed as investors weigh concerns about the U.S. presidential election and an economic stimulus package. On top of fears of flaring outbreaks of coronavirus, shares rose in Japan and China on Friday but fell in South Korea and Australia. Investors also looking ahead to the release of data on the Chinese economy next week. Stocks ended mostly lower on Wall Street, giving the S&P 500 its third straight loss this week. Stocks had been mostly climbing this month but have pulled back this week as ongoing talks between Democrats and Republicans on more aid for the economy have foundered. Indian capitals' air quality levels have plunged to very poor days after the government initiated stricter measures to fight chronic air pollution. A smoggy haze settled over the city Friday, reducing visibility. New Delhi enjoyed a respite from air pollution till September due to a strict virus lockdown. But with industrial activities resuming and cars back on the roads, the air quality in the city of New Delhi has once again fallen to unhealthy levels, making matters worse, the burning of agriculture cultural fields in neighboring states. Most people haven't been able to see a Broadway show this year because of the pandemic, but the business of giving out awards to productions that have made it onto the Great White Way goes on. Among the top nominees for the Tony Awards is Jagged Little Pill, which explores Alanis Morissette's 1995 album. It has 15 nods. The music competes with Tina, the Tina Turner musical, and Moulin Rouge, the musical that's a look at your news more of the bob and tom show coming up right after this ladies and gentlemen bob and tom no one does this but you no one absolutely no one washes one pair of jeans do you cut off the tops of your socks with scissors what (laughs) what the hell are you You doing about that willie no i don't do that either i know you do it (laughs) what the hell is wrong with you those look like socks that an orphan in a play would wear Willie is genuinely embarrassed and worried. I buy belts and I cut off the buckle. (laughs) And then they're too tight. I buy a shirt and I cut off the collar. Bob and Tom in the morning and highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24-7. Hi, this is comedian Tim Cavanaugh, and you're listening to Bob and Tom (laughs) 24-7. Alcohol takes its toll and the drinkers need a favorite vendor. A tasty treat of sausage splendor. <laughs> the little man behind the car. The police can't catch him because he's way too smart. The smell of mustard and a big umbrella. Hot dog man's got the perfect cover. <laughs> he's coming for you. He's gonna get you. Attack of the weed of man. <laughs> he's coming for you. Out in the street, the hunters want to sample the beats. He can't help but relish the fact the foot long keeps you coming back. <laughs> Once you're feeling safe and cool, that's when the Wiener Man makes his move. <laughs> <laughs> Nine o'clock, two ninety-five. It's the Bob and Tom Show. Thank you very much, legendary voice of Ace Cosby. A quick forecast from Christy Lee. Q ninety-five, Fox fifty-nine. Weekend weather brought to you by CarX. Sunny fifty-six today. Partly cloudy, sixty-two Saturday. Cloudy, possible afternoon shower on Sunday with a high of sixty. Currently, we have plenty of sunshine, but it is a chilly start to a Friday. 
32 degrees. Thank you very much. Uh, this is Tom speaking, and that, of course, is the president of Indiana, Josh Arnold. Hi. And I understand, uh, Josh Arnold, you're getting some new windows installed Monday. That's right. At the executive mansion, I will be getting uh, all my new windows installed. My gosh. And for as low as $2 a day. That's right. From Window Nation. WindowNation.com is the place to go to find out about it. Do the math this way. Yeah, for as much as, uh, let's see. 75 bucks a month, you could get all your windows replaced. That's right. Find out more at windownation.com. Is that correct? That is correct. And the uh, if you act now, you get two free windows with every two you buy. No limit on that. No, uh, you can find out more at windownation.com. Make sure to tell them that uh, Tom and the president of Indiana, Thank you. Josh Arnold, <laughs> told you to go there. Uh, by the way, these windows are customized for central Indiana. That's the whole deal. These are the right windows. If you're holding your hand up to your window and it's going whoosh, <laughs> Visit windownation.com. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. A little, little music to shuffle by. Ah, got some great uh, shows happening out there. Life goes on. There's an event you can actually attend in person. There'll be some NFL games, of course, this weekend. Some of them will have fans. Some won't. Mr. Some, McKee will be discussing that later. Some of the games will happen. Some won't. With the uh, with the shoeing of the week. I'll remind you also, Mr. Godwin, Mason City Limits, Mason City, Illinois, this weekend. Mr. Baker, Donnie Baker, Liberty Township, Ohio, with the Funny Bone. And then a uh, great friend of the show, Brian Regan, one of the funniest human beings alive, will be at the Louisville Palace tonight at 8. All right. For a special socially distanced show. Once again, that's the Louisville Palace with the great Brian Regan. Terrific. Clean as a whistle, and I don't know how anyone can be as funny as he is. Hyster it's, hysterical. It is. He's the best. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, we have uh, uh, Christy Lee, of course, at the Navy Federal Credit Union News Desk. Have we missed anything? Uh, yes. A French museum has postponed an well, exhibit. Well, 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 well. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't get it. What just happened? Like a French, French kiss. kiss. French kiss. Oh, French oh, museum. Oh, you use your tongue, oh, Tom. All he said was the word French. I said means. French. Yes. Okay. Museum. And then you felt obligated. I felt like it was a museum about the French kiss. Yeah. French kissing through the ages. What do you mean, uh, <laughs> Continental and Aer Lingus? What are you trying? You're... <laughs> this is a critique? Is that right? No, French I was talking about Genghis Khan. We haven't gotten to Genghis Khan yet. I no, didn't even sorry. say that. <laughs> Who interrupted you in the first place, please? <laughs> God. A French museum has postponed an exhibit about the Mongol emperor Genghis Khan. Mongol. Mongol. Citing interference by the Chinese government. Mongol only pawn. The history Genghis. museum <laughs> in the western city of Nantes said it was putting the show on hold for over three years. No, no, Nantes. Uh, that, that. It might be Nante <laughs> because it's take, French. Just take meth during the break. <laughs> <laughs> that's like a no, 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 Nanette reference. Yes, that is oh, a I no, no, Nanette wow. reference. Wow. This yeah, is Josh. known as uh, Constant Josh. <laughs> 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 Josh, Josh I should have warned you about that Sorry. gummy bear I gave you earlier. Oh, that's oh. what I was there. Since this is in France, it's probably Nante. The museum's director said we made the decision to stop this production in the name of the human, scientific, and ethical values that we defend. It said China insisted that certain words, including Genghis Khan, Empire, and Mongol, be taken out of the show. And they buckled? Yeah, they buckled. Okay. Aren't those just historic words? What, yeah, um... it's just cancel culture. Okay. All right. And it is Genghis or Genghis, according to uh, the... Are you saying Genghis or Genghis? Gang, like It is gang. like an A, yeah. even though it's spelled with an E. And, or okay. it can be pronounced with a hard G or a J, apparently. All right, sir. Genghis Khan. Hmm. Um, and uh, uh, then, of course, as opposed to the wrath of Khan. Yeah. Uh, sure. Right. Yeah. I, I always assumed that they took that name because of Genghis Khan. I, would I think. always thought so, too. Yeah. And Sheer Khan in mm. uh, Shaka Khan. <laughs> James Khan. Shaka Khan. Shaka Khan. Shaka Khan. 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 Yeah. My roommate in Shaka college, Khan. Alana Khan. She's great. Talk about her a little okay. bit. Okay. A little quick right. plug. <laughs> <laughs> no idea where that went. Did you give her a good quick plug? <laughs> Nobody ever names their kid that. You ever notice that? Quick plug. Con or, Con or Genghis. Or Genghis. Yeah. Oh, no, no yeah. it's one of those one of those names. Come here, Gangi. Man, I don't think, I don't even think Genghis Khan did. Hmm. Phone it rang. Is Genghis there? Do you want big Genghis or little Genghis? <laughs> 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 okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I don't know if if it's pronounced else uh, otherwise. I, I don't know. So uh, it seems like they're kind of buckling, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Is it yep. K A? H N Con? Yes. H A N. Got it. Okay. K H A N. Okay. Um, well, thank you, Chinese. Go ahead. 
Uh, Florida, uh, authorities in Florida have seized a package containing a horse skeleton, oh. according to Daniel Alonzo of Customs and Border Control. I'm on your side. Agricultural <laughs> oh, specialists right. at the Jacksonville International <laughs> Mail Facility discovered the skeleton in a box that came from Hungary. He said over 200 horse bones were seized as the importation of equine bones requires a veterinary services permit. Um, I don't get it. I don't get it, nor do I really care. Why would ahead. you want to bring horse bones? Into? I don't know. Good question. Is this some kind of weird... They make uh, some sort like of powder some, out of... Uh, oh, is that what it is? Is this some kind of phony Viagra or something? That's right. No, I don't think so. Why else would you want a box of horse bones? I, I want to get famous horse. I'm yeah. not a vet. Maybe they're going to put it back do together. A, do a haunted hayride? <laughs> <laughs> it helps your, uh, helps your wiener. I get it. If I got super rich, get a doctor to put horse bones in my body, then I'm stronger. No one oh, can you can run me. real fast? I can run fast as I want to. Yeah. Like a horse. <laughs> Remember the lady who could run like a horse? Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah that, that was weird, huh? Week, yeah. Maybe it's just slow mail. <laughs> Yeah, it was. They were expecting well, a live it horse. It wasn't a skeleton when we mailed it. <laughs> right. Boy, oh boy, Pony <laughs> Express. Don't get it? me started. Maybe the Warby Hungarian. Parker maybe still maybe the Hungarian class. mafia really doesn't know how to send a message. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, I didn't say send them the bones of a horse, you idiot. I'll just the horse's head. Hmm. Why would they? That's so weird. I'm. Sure this, there must be something we don't know about. This has to be one of those grind up the bones and. I don't think so. Horse bones. I no. hey, look. The, if they were going to grind up the bones, why wouldn't they do that before and then just send the powder over? Wouldn't that be cheaper? Because if they're, if you think that snorting <laughs> horse bones is going to give you an erection, you're already an idiot. Okay, so, well, don't knock it till you try it. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Don't you don't know. so yeah. judgmental. Oh, okay. boy. Good Lord. Lord. That becomes a problem. I'll Open your mind. Of course, Chick, you had a trouble snorting horse bones one time, right? Didn't it give you some problem? <laughs> <laughs> Made my voice... <laughs> fishing for a punchline. Didn't no, no, get to no, no, no. it. Uh, okay. We were going for the trots. Oh, oh. Yeah. the trots. I'm uh, sorry. Here, look, okay. uh, here's, you get a home game. A horse voice was second. Yes. Second. Uh, second. Uh, okay, the old uh, trots. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, God, look at him. <laughs> Groucho Marx uh, <laughs> and Trotsky. Uh, we, uh, oh, uh, 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 by special request now, ladies and gentlemen, um, a little bit of the uh, very famous uh, Mr. Obvious. Heidi Ho, welcome once again to the Mr. Obvious Show. I'm, of course, your affable host, Mr. Obvious. <laughs> Shall we take a call? Hello, Mr. Obvious Show. Um, hello, is this Mr. Obvious? <laughs> uh, it is, caller, but I'm having kind of a uh, hard time hearing you. Oh, man, this is so great talking to you, Mr. Obvious. I'm a long-time listener and a first-time caller. Well, I... I <laughs> I'm certainly glad you called. Um, not to belabor the point caller, but it is difficult to hear you. Can you uh, speak up? Uh, yeah, yeah, Mr. Obvious. I was saying I'm a long-time listener and a first-time caller. Uh -huh. Can I get over here across the street where it might be safer? Get across the street. What? What's, what's going yeah, on, hey, caller? Okay, I, I, I can speak up a little bit. Can you, can you hear me now? Yeah, that, that is, uh, I can indeed. That's much better. Now, what's going okay. on, caller? Oh, man, Mr. Obvious, I had, I had to cross the street to get away from the bank. The bank. Okay, now, what's, what's wrong with the bank, caller? <laughs> well, Mr. Obvious, I think it's being robbed. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, yeah. oh, my land. Well, did, did you call 911, caller? My goodness. Well, uh, well, no, no, I, I wasn't sure if uh, if I should call the police or if I should confront the robbers. No, well. no, don't <laughs> confront them. Of course you shouldn't confront them. They could be armed, caller. Armed? You, you think so, Mr. Well, Obvious? Do I think they could be armed? Of course they could. <laughs> That's what robbers do. They carry around guns or knives or bombs and they rob people. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm sure glad I didn't confront them then. Yeah. yeah. Is the robber still in there? Uh, robbers, Mr. Obvious. There's more than one. There's a whole oh bunch of them. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. Well, how many, caller? Oh, gosh. I, I, I saw at least four or five of them. Okay. Well, would you be able to identify them to the police? Mm, I'm not so sure about that, Mr. Obvious. They, they're all wearing masks. Masks? Oh, you mean like, uh, like pantyhose masks? <laughs> That's a good one, Mr. Obvious. That's no, funny. No, I, I'm not being funny. Robbers <laughs> <laughs> often wear pantyhose over their heads to disguise their features. Huh? I'll be 
be darned. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, these fellas weren't wearing pantyhose. Um, they, they were wearing those masks like you might see a doctor wear. Uh-huh. Uh, and, and the robbers, most of them were also wearing gloves. <laughs> I, I assume keep from leaving fingerprints everywhere. Yeah, and so. Masks and gloves, <laughs> collars? <laughs> yep, yep. Uh-huh. Oh, 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 <laughs> another thing. This, this might help. They, they all seem like they were spaced about six feet apart from each other. <laughs> <laughs> like gang. Oh, my land, collar. Those people are not robbing the bank. And not robbing the pet. How do you know? Uh, Caller, they're protecting themselves from the coronavirus by covering their noses and mouths and wearing gloves. Hmm, you don't say. And as a matter of fact, you should be doing the same, Caller. Me? I, I'm not going to be going in the bank, Mr. Obvious. No, it's not just the bank where you need the protection. You should practice being safe at the post office, the grocery store, wherever you might come in contact with people. You should be wearing a mask and gloves. A mask and gloves? Uh-huh. <laughs> well, I never made a connection. Uh, don't you watch the news, caller? How could you not know? Oh, gosh, no. I haven't seen the news for a while, Mr. Oh. O. I've been binge-watching that Tiger King show. No. <laughs> Ever since my boss told me not to come into work. Oh, well, like a lot of people, you must be working from home. Uh, no, he fired me. Uh, <laughs> incompetence. Oh. Which, which I, don't, I don't get. I hardly ever took bathroom breaks or anything. Okay, <laughs> Collar, it pains me, but we're going to have to go right now. Oh, okay. Uh, Mr. Collar? Yes, yes, Collar. It's a real life saver. Well, it sounds like you took my advice and put on your mask. I'm proud of you, Collar, <laughs> for taking heed during these unusual <laughs> and trying times. Oh, yeah, thanks, Mr. Collar. I, I didn't have a mask with me. But, uh, luckily, this fellow in the front of me at the store uh, sneezed into his handkerchief and dropped it on the ground. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, uh, goodbye, caller. Uh. Uh. Uh, until next time, this is Mr. Obvious saying so long. Thank you, Mr. O. Uh, he's a great guy, isn't he? He is. Yeah. Uh, coming up, it's the famous shoe of the Week starring Chick McGee. Yes, sir. Uh, way over 500 against the oh, spread yeah. oh, so yeah. far this season. We'll also feature a lovely grandmother uh, from some part of this great country of ours. I'm not exactly sure where. We'll find out in just a second. Right now, I want to remind you, are you sick of your own cooking? Answer, of course. Uh, how about uh, getting some uh, great chefs to help you out? That's where HelloFresh comes in. It's the number one meal kit in America. The box arrives inside the box. They've done all the shopping. They've done all the measuring, and uh, it's time for you to get cooking. Have some fun and make one of 22 chef-curated recipes on any given week. And uh, they are all delicious. You'll be surprised how great a cook you can be. So say goodbye to your boring stuff that you... Well, I guess I'll make a hot dog again tonight. <laughs> yeah. uh, cereal again? No. Get some great food. And uh, these uh, your, your choices would include whatever you're into. If you're a vegetarian, they've got a special program for you if you want. Uh, delicious uh, gourmet feast. They've got that too. Comfort food, it's all there at HelloFresh. There's a reason they're number one. Uh, you'll also find out that you're going to be uh, throwing away a lot less food. First of all, you'll clean your plate. And second of all, they've done all the measuring. And uh, they've done all the shopping. Mm -hmm. So you're saving a bunch of time and a bunch of money. You'll be saving about 40% versus shopping at your local grocery store. Oh, this store. week it's creamy Parmesan chicken spaghetti. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> wow. I only didn't have breakfast this morning. I'm starving. I know, I am too. Get started with America's number one meal kit. Go to HelloFresh.com. Use the code BT Show, like Bob Tom Show, to get 80 bucks off five boxes, including free shipping on your first box. How much is the shipping on that first box? It's free, my it's friend. Free. Thank you, Roger. The promo code is BT show like bob tom show hellofresh.com 80 bucks off including free shipping on your first box hellofresh.com promo code bt show i know you're going to love the food it's delicious and you'll find all you'll learn a lot about cooking by the way and they have the big cards showing you how to do, get all the steps mm -hmm. uh, and uh, you'll be amazed that you're almost as good as your favorite chef maybe better coming right back with a little bit of a uh, little bit of nfl action from mr mcgee this is the bob and tom show This is Bob and Tom 24-7. Comedy, guess, Bob and Tom exclusives. And it's here on the internet, Bob and Tom 24-7. Don't forget, Bob and Tom tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. It's 20 minutes of the best of today's show. Tonight, Bob and Tom's YouTube channel. Head on over there, subscribe, click the red button. It's free, won't cost you anything. And you'll be joining over 100,000 other Bob and Tom fans from around the world 
who have already subscribed to the Bob and Tom Show YouTube channel. Plus, they have archives and other highlights from the show. It's lots of fun. Head on over there after the show and check it out. Bob and Tom Show's YouTube channel. I'm Mark Allison with your Bob and Tom Entertainment News from the Navy Federal Credit Union Entertainment News Desk. Want to buy Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? If your desire and your pockets are deep enough, here's your chance. This is the six-inch tall version of the reindeer that was used to animate the 1964 special that finds its way onto TV every year. One of my personal favorites. The auction house Profiles in History is selling off the tiny Rudolph along with the 11-inch Santa that starred in the animated special. The figures, which are being sold as a set, are expected to fetch between $150,000 and $250,000 when they go up for bids starting November 13th. Going to have to ask Tom for a raise. Rental electric scooters are a common sight in European cities as they are in larger U.S. cities. But what should be done with those scooters that are souped up, that they really scoot? Authorities in Oslo say they've gotten their hands on one such offender. They've seized a privately owned electric scooter that can top out over 36 miles per hour. That's three times the legal limit. Appropriately, the scooter was stopped on suspicion of illegal speeding. Police say the owner faces prosecution, but didn't say what kind of punishment that they could face. The musical based on Alanis Morissette's Jagged Little Pill album and one about Tina Turner will face off for Best Musical at the Tony Awards. Jagged Little Pill and Tina, the Tina Turner musical, competing against the musical version of Moulin Rouge. If Tina wins, Turner could win her first Tony because she's a producer. Adrienne Warren, who portrays Turner, is up for Best Lead Actress in a Musical. Jagged Little Pill leads the nominations with 15. Turner has 12. David Byrne's American Utopia was not eligible to be nominated. The date of the Tonys has yet to be announced. That's a look at your entertainment news. More of the Bob and Tom Show coming up. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob and Tom. I wonder what it's That's going to be like when Willie comes to visit you in about 15, 20 years. <laughs> At the home? At the home. Oh, a little microphone set up talking to no one. <laughs> <laughs> What's in the news, Christy? Oh my gosh. Well, this week is a crazy stuff happening. He does all the voices all the, by yes, himself. Yes, yes. Yeah. Chick, what's going on? Excuse me. Hi, <laughs> I don't want to touch you. <laughs> getting, in fake, getting in fake fights with Dean in the hallway of the senior <laughs> Nurse, 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 nurse. I do weather on the tents. Bob and Tom in the morning and highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24-7. Bob and Tom 24-7. My dog's been talking to me And I ain't wild about the conversation uh, He was originally contracted as a sweet but loyal mute Now he's turned into a speechifying yakety galoot And I gotta tell you folks, I don't know what it was I expected But his choice of subjects is what really stinks the way he talks about cats and squirrels and sets your ears to ring. And don't you get him started on that spay and neuter thing. You know, you can only just hear so much about marking territory technique and such. Hey, quit looking at me, buddy. Anybody can see that my dog's been talking to me. Now, he don't like that dry dog food no matter how clean his teeth it will make well he would rather snack from a hefty sack and then brush with a fluoride paste sit I, I said sit what do you mean you got a lawyer I said sit If you're taking the time to examine your doggy's lips, you find the sides are floppy and serrated. 
And right up under his nose, why, his lips, they barely meet. And his tongue is way too big for proper enunciation in his speech. So consequently, his F's and M's. And 920 at Q95, it's the Bob and Tom Show. Chris Lee's got a quick forecast. Q95, Fox 59 <laughs> weather. I was putting my mask on to do the weather. Um, we will have sunshine today and a high of 56. Partly cloudy Saturday, 62. Maybe a shower under a cloudy sky Sunday and a high of 60. 32 degrees now. Be listening for your shot at 1000 bucks throughout the day on Q95. Also tonight at 11.30 on My Indy TV 23, it's Bob and Tom Tonight. So you can check that out, please. And there's a special edition of it coming up on Saturday. Thank you very much. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. It's great to be here on this, the 16th of October. We're getting everything in place for the famous shoe of the Week football tribute program. With Killing Chick, it. Chick McGee and a grandmother from somewhere out there in the universe. There's Ace, there's Josh, there's Christy, I'm Tom. That would be Willie G over there and uh, Patty G through the glass. And once again, it is time for Napa Auto Parts. Proudly presenting the Chick McGee shoe-in of the week. That's right, baby. Look at that record. 18 up, 10, to 10 down. Wow. <laughs> Against the spread. And we, uh, we have our grandmother of the week, I think, joining us on the telephone. Uh, Martha, are you there? I am. Good well, it's, morning. It's good Hi, to talk Martha. to you, Martha. Martha, it's my understanding. I'm looking at uh, the notes here that you are in Van Buren, Arkansas. I am. And you, uh, your name was submitted by your son, Daryl Clark, who is, uh, yeah. he's a badass. He's a firefighter in Fort Smith and uh, he's he is, helping actually. protect people. Well, good for you, Daryl. And yeah. uh, is he going to be in your bad yeah. side after doing this to you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, not at all. He, he gets his fun-loving nature from me. Oh good. oh, good. Well, now it's my understanding you're uh, you actually are uh, quite expert in the field of uh, NFL sports picks. Uh, you're up against Mr. Chick McGee, uh, and now uh, Chick, of course, is a diehard fan of the Washington Football Club. Do you have a, a team that you yeah. like? Well, yes, I uh, I was born in Abilene, Texas, so the Dallas Cowboys have been my lifelong team, his lifelong adversary, probably. This uh, call's over. <laughs> <laughs> it's over. I was going to say that's no not going to go over well. No more. Uh huh. I want to I want to talk to you uh, actually, uh, Martha, about you no know, chick. Ooh. Pig Suey. Pig Suey in Arkansas, right? You a Razorback fan? You like the Razorbacks? Uh, no. No. <laughs> uh, just, the, just the Cowboys, huh? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not just a regional fan, so I'm a, I'm a Cowboys dyed-in-the-wool fan. Oh, I'm, you know, fair, not a fair weather fan. No, so I no, stick through them through the good times with Tom Landry and the bad times with Jerry Jones. <laughs> okay. Oh, hey, it sounds like she's familiar with doesn't care for her own. Anyway, are we are we ready, Tom? Yeah, I, I think we are ready, Martha. The way this works is Mr. McGee will pick a game and he will explain the spread of that game in the world of gambling and then you will uh, go from there. Here we Chick. go. Okay. Uh, first of all, I'm, I'm getting in on the Washington football team this week. Uh, they are traveling to the New York Giants. Both teams are... Uh, not not great. Well, that whole division is not great. But um, Washington getting three on the road against the New York Giants. Who do you like, the Washington football team or the New York Giants? Well, that's a tough one because yep. if Alex is going to end up in the with the ball in his hand mm -hmm. and he's shaking off a little of the <clears throat> shook off a little of the rest last week, right. um, that could be intimidating. But if he doesn't get his hands on the ball. Mm -hmm. um, Giants, their kids got an arm. Okay, and I'm going with I'm going with Giants. Okay, Giants. Uh, that's uh, I, I can't. I, words fail me. How wrong that is. Uh, I'm I'm taking Washington plus three, and that is my double shock. He's doubling oh. his bet, Martha. Okay, I'm next, getting bold next here with this record. Dolphins hosting the New York Jets. The Jets getting nine. Who do you like, Miami or New York Jets? Yeah, try to keep it to a yes or no. <laughs> oh, well, yes or no. Oh, Josh is kidding. just being mean. Don't listen to him, Martha. <laughs> okay, and and you and who who were the choices again? Miami, Miami and the, the Jets. Miami and the Jets. Oh, Miami. Are you kidding? With Fritz Magic? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, that's, that, that's, yeah. That's, I love this guy. That sounded kind of dirty the way she said it. Yeah, yeah. Fritz oh, you do the no, old Fritz no, no, Magic no. on me, will you? Mm. Yeah, he's, he's, I mean, he's, he's, he brings 
the fun in the football. <laughs> the guy has a good time. What's he got to lose? Just That's go out exactly there and have right. fun, right? Is she correct? Uh, no, I'm taking the Dolphins. <laughs> <laughs> Dolphins oh, you're so Miami. wrong. Uh, oh, no, you did say, you did take Miami, didn't you? You like Fitzpatrick. Yes. Yeah, yes. you like Ryan Fitzpatrick. Yes. I, like, I like Miami plus the minus nine. I, okay. I agree okay. with Grandma. Okay. Yeah, okay. okay, you guys agree. Okay. Uh, yeah. Buffalo, well, one of the two Monday night games this week because of various cancellations. Buffalo hosting Kansas City. The Bills home standing, uh, home uh, underdog getting five. Who do you like, Kansas City or Buffalo? Uh, I tell you what, um, I, I I think Andy is going to have his team more than ready. I okay. think they were really a little, I don't know if they got overconfident, but I think they're going to come blah, roaring. Blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> She's right, Tom. I'll take Kansas City minus the five. At All Buffalo. right. And the Cowboys hosting the... Uh, I know, Josh is calling you Josh names. is very mean. I didn't call you a name mean. at all. If his house catches on fire, I want your <laughs> son Daryl to show up and not even turn the hose and, on. And uh, <laughs> how about them Cowboys and Andy Dalton hosting the uh, Arizona Cardinals? Uh, Cardinals getting two. Who do you like, Dallas or Arizona? It's gonna, I think it'll be a tight one, mm -hmm. but I think Dalton's going to come through with the whole team. I think okay. they're all going to just really determined to show what they can do and that's that it's okay so you're taking dallas in other words i am okay good uh, chick mcgee i am taking dallas minus the two and that's so you guys agree on week. three of them there wow three out of four yeah except okay. i watched it. she was i don't know why she made what was the spread game. in the last game i'm sorry uh cowboys minus two okay all right good there you go okay well thank you very much um uh, martha uh, uh a big uh, thanksgiving coming up i always like to know are you cooking at all for thanksgiving probably a smaller celebration this year with all of the uh restrictions etc cetera, etc cetera? well we are quite possibly going to be at the firehouse because Daryl is working on Thanksgiving Day and on holidays when he works, sometimes we just head over there. Well, that's and, uh, nice. All we'll have to do is get yeah. a temperature check at the door. Okay. Now, let me ask you this. Um, does Daryl's firehouse still have the pole? They do not. Oh. Mm. All one story. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's a ranch firehouse. I yeah. Guess, uh, yeah. Yeah. I, uh, some yeah. of them, Chick and I have actually experienced the firehouse, the actual pole. Yes, we have. And one of my favorite scenes in any movie is in Ghostbusters when they find out that the place <laughs> has a fire pole. This is oh, great. Yeah. But, oh, yeah. <laughs> but apparently, I, someone was saying, maybe Christy, that I guess the, uh, the pole at the firehouse is a, r rapidly becoming a thing of the past. Probably. Yeah, that's what I hear. Yeah, and so. we'll see how busy he is because he's a battalion chief. So on Thanksgiving Day with everybody cooking at home and setting fire to things, who knows if he'll get any rest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I never thought that. about that. If you're a fireman, of all those people trying to... Uh, deep fried turkeys. Deep fried turkeys yeah. that set their garage on fire. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, uh, well, obviously he's a great guy. And um, in spite of the fact that he put you yeah. up to this, <laughs> I suppose you'll still be speaking to him. Um, oh. Sure, it was fun. Now, so I, it says here that he's not your favorite. What does that mean? <laughs> okay, uh -oh. I made that up. Oh. <laughs> For once, you were speechless. <laughs> hey, before we let you go, I want to make one thing very clear. We joke around a lot. Josh made a few jokes. This, but legitimately, Josh Arnold, he is a bad person. He's not a good guy. <laughs> Never ever forget that. <laughs> I it also well, it says he mainly warned he mainly warned me against Chick and oh, um, no. I'm just happy to see that Chick is smarter than I was gonna think he was. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, th thank you. <laughs> Damning with faint praise. Uh, it's also it's saying it's right here. It says that you're a pilot. Well, that's nice. Oh, I bet those are some lengthy announcements, aren't they? <laughs> you are a terrible today. Good job. What, what kind of aircraft can you pilot, may I ask? Uh, the biggest thing I had my hands on was a beaver, which is a... Uh -huh. Well, that's the Josh has been down that road. <laughs> that's interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but a lot of time in the Cessna, two, Cessna line. Oh, okay. okay. Sure. Twos. Well, good for you. And I was uh, search and rescue in Alaska. Well, um, with Civil Air Patrol. Oh, good nice. for you. 
How often do you hear this from traffic control? Uh, that's great, Flight 93, but uh, can you keep this line clear, please? We're trying to get some other planes <laughs> to uh, tell us where they're at. I mean, it's a wonderful story about your... I just uh, can't wait for Daryl to drive up here and just punch <laughs> you right in the uh, face. Uh, well, uh, great choices, Martha. You sound like a great person. Uh, and uh, being part of a fire rescue thing, that's a, that's a, that's fantastic for Daryl. And uh, it's, it's great for you to be able to uh, be an, an uh, airplane pilot over those over the yeah. years. In Alaska, no less. Wow. Where a lot of people yeah. fly. That's great. Uh, well, thanks yeah. so much for your time. Best of luck. Yes, Martha, uh, thank with, you. With everyone except, of course, the Cowboys. Um, right. You're, the, Absolutely. No, I, I don't have, a, I don't have a, a, a horse in that particular derby, so I hope your team does well. Um, and what are you? So are, will you take food to the firehouse on Thanksgiving? Uh, generally, we'll do that, yes. A few of the firefighters, their families might come in, and so... What are, so what are you going to, what are you responsible for? Do you have some special recipe, like aviatrix uh, steak or something? <laughs> uh, um, maybe yeah, uh, Amelia, yeah. Amelia Earhart. Uh, what, would, what would Amelia Earhart, I guess you probably couldn't find her lunch. <laughs> uh, I, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take whatever they think is needed. I'm pretty easy to get along with if I'm not sitting in the left seat in command. <laughs> okay, what's, what's this, what's your, what dish do you make that's actually really edible? Uh, a really killer pumpkin pie, traditional as that is. Oh, I'm a and, big fan. Uh, the West Texas cornbread dr uh, dressing, sage <laughs> dressing. Oh, boy. These, these all sound su really su good. Suddenly, Josh is on your side. Mm -hmm. Now you're speaking his language. <laughs> Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like a I've pizza, heard of people right? making an oyster dressing, but I think they're Yankees. So, oh, yeah, you no, know, that's a, nothing personal. Yeah. We do we do that <laughs> yeah, at our family that, Thanksgiving. Yeah, Thank yeah you so does much. my dumb grandma. <laughs> no, no, they're all the filthy Yankees. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, be oyster, yeah, exactly. oyster dressing tradition. Is, well, could I have a turd pizza? No, no, I'll take the oh, oyster hey. dressing. Have you ever had it? No. I can tell it's, it's awful. I hate oysters <laughs> in any force, way, yummy. shape, or form. Thank you, Martha. Great picks. You're welcome. Give our Thanks. best to Daryl. Bye, Martha. Okay. Daryl's out there uh, putting out the fires on Thanksgiving. I'd put $100 on the fact that Martha is still talking into the phone. Right <laughs> Daryl is going to come up here and beat your ass. Yep. She's still talking. Oh, uh, still talking. And another thing, I don't... Oh, uh, hello? She knew a lot about football. Whoa. But, and, yet, and yet refused to do the cheer. Although Kyle Allen uh, Kyle Allen is starting this week instead of uh, and, uh, Alex Smith. He's a backup. Let's call her back. So he had that totally, she had that totally wrong. <laughs> okay, call her back. Good, good. Correct. Uh, uh, Jared, the line's busy. <laughs> okay, She's I'm sorry. Else like oh, incredibly mean. That is the me. Napa Auto Parts shoe of the week starring Chick McGee and our special guest, uh, Martha Trammell. Great work, Martha. Yes. Now, uh, Speaking uh, Ms. of Christine, pumpkins, <laughs> yes. uh, the Half Moon Bay Pumpkin Contest has a big winner. Oh. Travis Ginger of Anoka, Minnesota, spent a lot of his free time in the pumpkin patch in his backyard, watering his plants up to 10 times a day, feeding, fertilizing at least twice a day. Ginger, 40, then drove his pumpkin for 35 hours to the 47th World Championship wheels. Pumpkin Way Off in Half Moon Bay, south of San Francisco. Did so he put wheels on this thing? Yeah. Put it on a trailer. What do you he think? He to. dragged it all the way she there? He said he drove his pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Cinderella. <laughs> exactly like Cinderella. You have a pumpkin car, diesel in there or regular? God, I'm going to kill all of you. <laughs> his winning pumpkin came in at 2,350 pounds. Jesus. Yeah. Hmm. But if you've ever seen these, it's all water. Yeah, it looks like a, it looks like a. If you've ever seen like a really fat lady with huge boobs lying down on her back. Oh my god! <laughs> what? I often see those. What? Uh, what? Yeah. You know, you're walking in a store and they're oh look, it's a big naked fat lady uh, laying god. down on what? her back. Well, that people reminds said, me of a, that reminds me of a pumpkin. Yeah, yeah, people said Virginia Woolf had good imagery, but look at you, big fat. <laughs> lady. Okay, wait a second, I'm trying to find a picture of this thing. Uh, yep, right again. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no one, no one likes you. Not even your son. Yeah. <laughs> look at that thing, Willie. Yeah, they're, doesn't that, they're doesn't that look like, What do you call them? Big hangers. What's the word oh, you I use? I call them heavy nets. Heavy nets. <laughs> heavy nets. Big hangers. Big hangers. Look at that thing. <laughs> big hangers. That was the eight-inch hanger. The story of the right. new. Oh yeah. 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 There's a picture of this thing in San Francisco, and um, they're really unattractive and ugly. And but we 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 know a guy that does this every year. He tries to grow these gigantic pumpkins, and isn't it just a matter of? Just constantly filling them with it's yeah. just all water. Water and so, fertilizer. Yeah. That's like any other plant. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I know that uh, this, guy, this guy is known. What's his name again? Uh, Mr. Ginger. 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 Yeah. Mr. Ginger. Yeah. Um, he's known as uh, Peter Peter the Pumpkin Eater. Oh, is he? Well, his wife is. Uh, 
He, he couldn't wait, keep her. Wait. Oh, is that no, what his wife wouldn't be the... Never. No, no, no. <laughs> no, he'd be the eater, wouldn't he? Yes. <laughs> so, so he's, he's a joker of Mad Libs. <laughs> Can we talk to Martha again? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody get Martha back on the phone. Do we have her today in history? Save us from this, please. No, I, I was... Uh... Shut up. Right now, today <laughs> in history. God, I haven't looked at today in history. Well, this will be well, fun. Then. We'll discover it together. Tom? Um, today is October 16th. What happened on this day? Oh, this is obscure. What? Yikes. I wonder if you'll know this one, Chick. On this date, in what year did Jim Councilman take over as coach of the Rock Island Independence from Frank Coughlin mid-game? The only mid-game coaching change in NFL history. Uh, uh, I want to say 36. Close. 1921. Oh. Huh. That was, that, did the NFL exist in 21? Yeah, remember? It was uh, 1920. It was the 100th anniversary at the Hubble okay. dealership in Canton, uh, okay. Ohio. Well, we talked right. about that okay. last week. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for listening. Um... <laughs> So if they won the game, who'd they dump the Gatorade on? The first guy or the... Never mind. They didn't have Gatorade then, I can tell you that. Yeah. Yeah. They just had no water. Idea. Water. Um, yeah. Did you ever see that? The videos of the water and the guy in the ladle, and they go over to the water, and they dip yes. the ladle in, and they drink it. Yeah. yeah. That's the way they used to do it. Yeah. Apparently they do it that way in Atlanta now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're having a throwback oh, weekend. Yeah. I say that the, half the team mm -hmm. has it. Never mind. Yeah. Um, let's see what else happened on this date. Oh, here we go. What? This is what I've been waiting for all day. Um, baby Jessica. Oh, fell in the well? Uh, famously uh, fell into the well. And do you remember the story, Christy? Of this course. was in, in 1987. Yeah, she was a little toddler. She was out there playing in the backyard and she fell into a well and it captured the imagination of the world. Sure as they did. Saved we were all watching. Baby mm -hmm. Jessica live on TV. Remember yes. they pulled her up from the well? Oh, they did. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't yeah. know it ended I remember she way. got married and has kids now. Yeah. She's, yeah. And that was a, a famous moment of this show. Yeah. If you recall that, Mr. McGee. Yeah, it was one of McGee's finest moments. Knows. Could have been one of the first in 87. Uh, no, no, no. The, the, what had happened in 87. But we did you, the story 18 years later when oh, she got that's married. Right. Could have been one, one of the many middle times. Okay. Yeah, okay. Well, we'll hear that later. Yeah. Um, what else have we got? <laughs> uh, let's see now. Um, happy birthday to Noah Webster, of course. Oh, today's Dictionary Day. That would make sense. I didn't mention that earlier because I thought it was kind of boring. But uh, you know Do you guys know that baby Jessica and that husband of hers, they got divorced? Did they? No, huh. that's a sad story. Well, well, are you seriously? Well, I am well, serious. Well, well. Oh, well, let's celebrate oh, when they got, well. let's celebrate when they oh, got married. Well. Do you remember the dramatic rescue of baby Jessica when she fell down the well? Remember she was yeah. 18 months old? Yeah. Believe it or not, baby Jessica is a baby no longer. She was married over the weekend. No kidding. She is now 19 years old and she apparently tied the knot Saturday to rural church outside Midland, Texas. She's 19, her husband, 32-year-old Daniel Morales. I bet they're on City Walk. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fine joke. Chick, I forgive there you, you for everything you've ever done. <laughs> I have that on my alarm, Bob, saying that to me when I wake up every morning. Uh, there you go. Yeah, I, I, I don't know if they're divorced or not. Are you sure about that? He uh, just looked it up. I just looked it up. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, if she was 19, that guy's 32. And he 32. was 32, yeah. yeah. Why do you believe a guy you meet in a meat market <laughs> or a grocery store other than stuff I tell you? The tags on his pants? He listens to those. Yeah. <laughs> Iron inside out. They don't say that, do they? Uh, no, it's just wash inside out. Wash inside out. Okay, uh, welcome back to the Bob and Tom program. And, <laughs> we haven't uh, gone anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh my what? This has been unbelievable. Uh, I, I, this I is wanna, horrible. So I could have been messing with you. Go ahead. Yeah, that's the thing. See, you never know with chick. Yeah. It's like the boy who cried wolf. Um, the pandemic has led to a big increase in a lot of things. Sorrow uh, among them. Uh, also, uh, this is a really, people are just such jackasses. Can you imagine? If you've applied for unemployment, you deserve to be getting your money. Well, there's a bunch of thieves out there. You might have been reading about this, especially this week, and the FTC has confirmed that because of the high volume of benefits, fraud is way, way up. And one of the things that hap is happening is identity theft. So um, uh, if, if, for example, you were supposed to get a tax refund, someone else may have gotten it. Same thing with your unemployment benefits. So one of the things you might want to consider doing, I say, is uh, checking in with LifeLock. It's a very inexpensive service that will help detect if someone is using your information. For example, your uh, your social security number could be for sale as we speak on the dark web. No one can prevent all identity theft or monitor all transactions at all businesses, but LifeLock is out there looking. And if uh, your numbers show up, your name shows up, they're going to send you an alert. 
And uh, it's a great service, and it's very inexpensive. And right now, by the way, I, we have a special Bob and Tom Show listener offer. LifeLock can see those threats that you might miss on your own, and you can join now and save up to 25% off your first year. That's right, 25% off. If you use this promo code, my name, Tom, and the numeral 25. Tom25, call 1-800-LIFELOCK or head to LifeLock.com. That's even easier. Just remember, LifeLock.com. Use the promo code Tom25, 25% off. Someone will be watching those numbers for you, and you should be getting the stuff that you deserve instead of having somebody else take over your life when we come back uh we we'll have will have an be... update on baby jessica oh, we she do? was down there three days i didn't realize that yeah. i forgot yeah. about that part i, thought she's I mean down the there... cameras were there yeah. i thought she's down there for a year three days oh like jesus one year and i think she's still married she's got two kids uh, uh-huh so that was that bad information the sex change okay okay <laughs> there we go. Yeah, sex change is right all right fine when we get back this is the bob and tom show add to or continue the conversation check out the bob and tom show on facebook get the link at bob and this is the bob and tom show Bob and Tom, 24-7. Hope you're having a great Friday morning. So glad you could join us. And we'll be back in a matter of moments to find out what we learned on the show today. It's always interesting, and you never know what you may have misremembered or forgotten about. We'll be back with what we learned on today's Bob and Tom show right after this. I'm Chick McGee with your Bob and Tom sports update. The Houston Astros have forced to game six in the American League Championship Series. Carlos Correa. A walk-off home run to center field off Nick Anderson in the bottom of the ninth to end the Astros' 4-3 win over the Rays. Houston wasted leads of 1-0 and 3-1 before Correa's sixth home run of the postseason. The Atlanta Braves are one win away from ending a two-decade World Series drought after a 10-2 win over the Los Angeles Dodgers in Game 4 of the National League Championship Series. And in NFL news, the Atlanta Falcons say they have shut their facility following one new positive test for COVID-19. Defensive tackle Marlon Davidson placed on the virus reserve list this week. The addition of a second unidentified person caused the Falcons to act out of caution and close the facility. A team spokesman said the second person was not a player. The spokesman added that barring any changes, the Falcons are expected to be back at their facility sometime today. I'm Chick McGee, and that's your Bob and Tom Sports Update. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob and Tom. I have a question for everybody in the room. Go ahead. On a scale from 1 to 10, how funny is this? <laughs> uh, nine. Tom, what would you give that? I'd give it a 6.9. <laughs> yeah, you would. We do have farting in the news. Do we? A, a man in the UK received a suspended jail sentence after um, farting in an Uber. They're going to do a TV version of this, of course. Is that right? Yeah. Uh-huh. It's called Law and Order. <laughs> I, I like it. You know, I like it a lot. I, I, well, yeah. you're, you're wrong. You're simply wrong. Law I thought, and Odor, because then you can go Law and Odor SBD. Yeah. Yeah. You can do all of <laughs> Bob and Tom in the morning and highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24-7. All day, all night, all Bob and Tom. This is Bob and Tom 24-7. The following is a paid advertisement for the Joe Jefferson Vocabulary Builder Upper. The Bob and Tom Show does not endorse this product, nor any claims made by Jeff Joseph or anyone affiliated with him. Here's something new from the creator of the Joe Johnson Memory System. 
Hello, I'm Jack Johnson. I get letters from thousands of happy customers who have used my memory system to improve their memory. I get faxes, emails, phone calls, and I even get thousands of letters from happy customers, all of whom have used my memory system to improve their memory's remembering ability. But are you beware that people often judgment you based upon the size of your vocabulary? It's true. If you have a teensy-weensy vocabulary, people might exhume that you are some kind of diseducated mormon. That's why. I have come up with this new thing that I call the Jeff Johnson Vocabulary Builder Upper. Yes, the Jerry Jenkins Vocabulary Builder Upper can make you seem intelligent. Does it work? Just listen to these ceremonials. That's right, Joe. My vocabulary used to be small. I only used a fracture of the words and phases available in the English language. Then I recovered the Jim Johansson Vocabulary Builder Upper, and it creased my vocabulary significant. In fact, I'm now up for a demotion at work. Thanks, Jake Jameson. I had yet to furnish college when I relapsed that my vocabulary was very, very not large. I was strangling with my classes when I heard about the John Jennings Vocabulary Builder Upper. In just a few weeks, I had learned 800 new words and their defecations. Thanks, Jimmy Jackson. Ever since I took the Jan Jenner Vocabulary Builder Upper Curse, I've been able to have really deep conversations with my friends and my co-workers I work with at work. It's also helped me with my clientels during meetings. <laughs> I sound way more classier than I used to. They often ask me if I intended one of them extensive Ivy League universals. Believe it or not, I didn't. Jake Jorgensen, you're a genius. The Jacob Johansson Vocabulary Builder Upper is way more successful than any other program. In fact, I'll garnish it works or my name's not Jack Jilson. Don't just take my word for it. I've gathered this group of recent graduals to get their assertion. What do you satisfactory customs have to say? Thanks, James! You're welcome. My vocabulary builder-upper is my best ideal ever. In fact, I am so condiment that it will work for you, I will offer... That's right, 947 at Q95. <laughs> what are you doing? Bob and Tom show. Who is that? I tend to take on whatever I'm hearing. Yeah, like Mystique. Yeah, like Mystique. See, I don't know what the problem is. Um, by the way, uh, I want to uh, say, uh, here's You're something. You're a chameleon. Uh, if, if you might give me five seconds. Gutty's Comedy Club in Greenwood. It's our friend Dave Dugan. Uh, tonight and tomorrow for a special show. Dave will be our guest coming up next week. That's Gutty's in, uh, in Greenwood coming up. Let's see, where was I? Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. <laughs> There's Josh. He's just chuckling away over there. Hi. He's at the I Hate Steven Singer dot com sidekick it. desk. It's Friday. It's almost over. Christy Lee is uh, <laughs> at the end of her rope, and <laughs> she's looking forward to a swell day. <laughs> uh, Christy yeah. is at the Navy Federal Credit Union news desk. Chick's having a great day. Very hot with the shoe in of the week. Just made his picks. We'll post those. Well, I'm due to fall the... through the basement. No, so don't say that. Various social Think media. Positively. Plus, my heart's here. I got Washington. I, I don't know. We have uh, Ace Cosby, of course, as our engineer. This is Tom. That's Willie. That's Patty G. Mr. Godwin will be uh, playing this evening and tomorrow at the Mason City Limits in Mason City, Illinois. He still has his full facial hair, the pencil-thin mustache, coming next week. Can't Monday. wait. And I believe we uh, left you. We were still doing Today in History. Yes, like we were. To, like to pick that up. Could I have yeah. a music, please? <laughs> oh, come on. Give me the, give me the whole oh. thing. Time now for part two of Today. It was on this date, and way back in 1987, excuse me, that baby Jessica was rescued from the well. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then a chick famously celebrated her marriage. Yes. And she and her new husband did have city water. And then I famously uh, celebrated their divorce. I did not uh, get divorced, apparently. Apparently, that was something you just made up. children, born in 2007 and 2009. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not sure, but I can't seem to find that. Well, I guess they were, but they're at least not. 
not really that happy anymore. Yeah, <laughs> oh, this is based on what? <laughs> a life in general. Experience. Uh, okay. Uh, where <laughs> was I? I got going as he's uh, older. That's uh, the only uh, thing birthdays. Let's just do some nice happy birthdays, shall okay. we? Okay. Happy birthday to? Oscar Wilde. Oh. oh. Take that. So quotable. How about yeah. that Very new quotable. thing? We give them a woo for their birthday. Happy I like birthday. that. Didn't he? That? He made everybody happy, didn't he? Oscar Wilde? Mostly other guys. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Angela Lansbury. Oh, yeah. She's like 98 or something. Born in 1925. Wow. 95 Boy. years young. 95. I was close. Goiter, she wrote. Yeah. <laughs> I assume. I assume. An older woman. Wait a minute. Is that what happens when you get old? You get goiters? Oh, yeah. <laughs> goiter, she wrote. Oh, that's and very nice. Isn't the I legend... forgive you for everything else you've done this morning. <laughs> isn't the legend she was like two years older than Lawrence Harvey and the original Manchurian candidate? And she, she played his mother, I think. Something like that. That's Legend, a, fact. I you think know. that's that's correct. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, uh, 1947, the great Bobby Weir from the Grateful Dead. Yeah. Yeah, so you say. What? What? I have a technical question. Mm -hmm. What T-shirt that people wear for what band uh, that they could probably not identify a single person from? Does that make sense? Metallica is the biggest one, I think. You think? I think maybe Metallica... I couldn't. I would think Metallica, a lot of dead fans, ACDC, maybe they could, Sabbath, they, they'd know Bobby and maybe Jerry Garcia. But I wouldn't know Bobby Weir. I'd know Jerry Garcia. That would be it. Okay. Well, happy birthday anyway, Bobby. Um, you know, one of the greats, 1947, David Zucker. Woo! Oh, yes. yeah. From Airplane, Naked oh, Gun, Top Secret, the greatest movies ever. Yep. <laughs> uh, which, which, which one? I, I forget. Which, uh, which is the great beaver one? <laughs> A naked Gun. Naked Gun. Yeah, okay. the first Naked Gun. Nice beaver. Why, well, right. thank you. With Priscilla Presley. I just had it stuffed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, here's a funny fact for you. Tim uh -huh. Robbins, happy birthday, Tim, born in 58. Tim Boo. Did you know that Tim Robbins, I did not realize he's 6'5"? Oh, yeah. Yes, he uh, is very tall. Well, yeah. I, yeah. They have to get taller actors to work with him or he seems grotesque. You've not heard this story? <laughs> Well, this makes crawling through the it makes crawling through that half mile sewer pipe in Shawshank a lot more impressive. Yes. Yeah, yeah. No, no, he was out. He was out life. like a half a foot earlier than anybody would have. Been. <laughs> oh, okay. and to tie things uh, around to an earlier discussion, uh, mm -hmm. one of his first movie roles, Howard the Duck. Okay, was very it? good. It's very good. Uh, time now to review what we learned on today's show. In this, Bob Roberts. Time now. Great movie. Things we learn brought to you by Granger. Products keep your facility running is what Granger does best for 90 years, almost as long as Angela Lansbury's been alive. Granger.com for whatever you need, whatever you need it. Granger for the ones who get it done. Yeah, Mr. Godwin and his guitar on stage, Mason City Limits tonight. Pat uh, has a beautiful tuxedo. He won't be wearing it tonight or tomorrow because apparently it doesn't fit. Is that not anymore? I'm so sorry to hear that. Um, we can we can have that we can have that uh, goosed, goosed out for you for next next week. Uh, Would let's be an see. Uh, we had a nice uh, letter for Josh. Airplanes don't I have do. a steering wheel. I thought some of them did. Yeah, some of them do. That okay. man, that okay. man is wrong. No, no okay. trains don't have steering wheels. Okay, Gilroy, California is the garlic capital of the world. Mm -hmm. uh, we had somehow had that. Not a vampire near there. Nope. Uh, okay, let's see. Willie started to tell a story about a teacher getting hit by a car. We'll skip that. Uh, <laughs> that was off the air. <laughs> uh, oh, that was off the air? She yes. lives. Okay, um, xylophone starts with an X. And yes. Way, and Xavier is not pronounced Xavier, by the way, for Correct. those that are... Uh, you'd think <laughs> being a university at all, they would have clarified that. Uh, let's see now. And um, I liked your new song about me called Ironing Man. I like yes. that, too. I apologize to the Sabs yeah. and, and somewhere, to Tony Iommi. And somewhere Martha's still talking. Okay, <laughs> this is the Bob and Tom Show. Keep us with you at all times. Get the Bob and Tom app now at your app store. State law.
spanning the globe to bring you the constant variety of... Loads of curvy cleavage on display. The thrill of victory. <laughs> and the agony of defeat. Don't touch those. Sorry. The human drama of... Loads of curvy cleavage on display. This is... The Bob and Tom Show. No shoes, no shirt, no towel. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob and Tom. No one does this but you. No one. Absolutely no one washes one fact, pair of jeans. Do you cut off the tops times. of your socks with scissors? What? <laughs> what the hell are you, you doing? You know about that, Willie? No, I don't do that either. I know you do it. <laughs> What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> Those look like socks that an orphan in a play would wear. <laughs> look at Willie. Look at Willie. Willie is genuinely embarrassed and worried. I buy belts and I cut off the buckle. <laughs> <laughs> and then they're too tight. I buy a shirt and I cut off the collar. Bob and Tom in the morning and highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24-7. Thanks so much for joining us on a Friday. We couldn't do it without you, the Bob and Tom fans across the world that tune in every day right here on Bob and Tom 24-7. I'm Mark Allison. Have yourselves a great weekend. Got a great bunch of guests coming up next week, including Allie Breen, Al Jackson, Reno Collier, and, of course, we'll hear more from Donnie Baker. All on the way, Ace Cosby up next with the work farce. Have yourselves a great weekend. We'll see you right back here Monday morning with another edition of the Bob and Tom Show. Bob and Tom 24 24- 24-7. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Well, good morning. Thanks very much for joining us. Um, I want to say happy birthday to our engineer, Eddie. I understand yesterday was Eddie's birthday. All right. Wonderful, oh, wonderful wow. guy. Do we have I cake with and without? Do we have with cake? With pot and without, without pot. pot. <laughs> what are you suggesting? Oh, that Eddie and vibe. Eddie's Eddie. a Rasta, isn't he? Is Eddie a Rastaman? That's no. what I heard. No, he's, he's, not. 